What's up? What's up? What's up? He yeah. wants to be the FBI is against us on the, uh, all these <laughs> this show. It's because of probably his search. <laughs> oh! Holy shit. It's probably because of his search history. Yeah. And um, the things Ooh. he watches on the internet. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta be careful what you wish, what you wish for. Yeah. Damn, did he do that again? Yeah. <laughs> We're on, Duff. Hey, what up? What up, buddy? How much are you doing? Good, man. All right, we got some uh, three people watching. Also, I just put up for free the Memories new album on the Bandcamp for Valentine's Day. Oh, hell no, yeah, dude. I'm gonna check that out. Yep. Let me, uh, I'll put, type that link in there. I'll be right back. You cool. Talk, Isaac, get Very you good. All right. Um, oh, I'm still lugged in as Isaac Duffy on the YouTube. All right, welcome uh, to this edition of the Paranormal Narcast. We're uh, we're picking up where we left off last week with the Secret Space Program. Um, you know, people dedicate their lives to this topic, and you know, one two-hour show is not nearly enough to. Uh, what are you drinking, Duffy? What is that? This is Wild Cherry Pepsi. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> you would to are you you would drink Pepsi. Yep. I think. I, I mean, it's just what they had little Caesars. Mm. Yeah, but I think That's the cherry Pepsi. My, cherry Pepsi might be a little nicer than cherry Coke. Depends what mood you're in. I feel you. Um, hello, human. Hello, Just W. Yes, new memories. Yep, go grip. Um, brand new memories album. Just in time for Valentine's Day, and we decided to give it out for free to all you guys, all you fans out there, um, in hopes that you, that you have a very lovely Valentine's Day. Um, you know, Valentine's Day gets a bad rap, um, being such a corporate holiday and, and all that, but really what it comes down to a Valentine's Day is about loving the people you love and um, showing and making an effort to those people you care about. And, and you know, so we decided to give our record the mp3s for free on the internet on Bandcamp. so the there's a link in the in the chats check that out if you're watching go ahead and download the brand new in la la land uh, by the memories and it's awesome it's great um three years in the making we'll talk about that more in a little bit once we get stuff started um how you doing today duffy how's that pizza it's pretty good. What kind did you get? Just pepperoni? Dude, they had such a hard time making this. It like, so it fell, it fell over in the oven, right? Like I pulled it in and I got there. Oh, so you didn't, didn't even get a hot, throwing it in. you didn't and even get a hot ready. For like 20 minutes. And then the dude's like, oh, we forgot to throw you a pizza in. And I'm like, what the? You didn't get a hot oh ready God. then. You got like a, 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 a fresh one. Yep, yeah, it just took them 40 minutes to make it. What kind of toppings? I got the extra most bestest, so just pepperoni and extra cheese. There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah, Duffy. Well, you know I like a good slice of uh, hot and ready um, over here. What's up, Carly G? Good to see ya. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Enable those notifications. Please go to the website, nartape.com slash gtg. Very good. Uh, if you direct your attention to the chat box, um, you'll see a couple links there. We got a link to the Nartapes Bandcamp where you can download the new Memories album in La La Land for free in honor of Valentine's Day. And then another link to uh, the pre-order of the cassette tape, which will come out um, really soon, really quickly here. But you can go to the, the Bandcamp if you want to hear those tracks. Just go ahead, jump on. Um, it's 100% free for the MP3s. Download that shit. Um, like uh, like we were saying, it's three years in the making, and we were actually writing a lot of these tunes while we were writing uh, the Royal United Song Service record. So you know, it's um, it's kind of in the same vein as that, kind of lo-fi, but uh, it's uh, it's a good one, and it it pretty much is a concept album that kind of chronicles. Um, how we've been feeling about living in LA for the past four years or whatever. Fuck yeah. So yeah, check it out. You check it out too, Duffy. It's free as fuck. Um, go I'm to stoked. go Hell to yeah. the link in the chats. There's some real bangers on there. Um, Have I heard any of these yet? Maybe both the links don't work. Let me look yep. into that. Just W. I didn't check it because I don't want to screw up. Yes, my you're connection. absolutely right. Let's uh, let's fix that. 
We'll fix that um, in just a sec, but we'll get those up, up for you. Um, we decided to go live with both of those, um, 12 o'clock Eastern time, which is 9 o'clock Pacific. So we just put it up, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what's going on with that in just a moment. My apologies, we'll, we'll sort that out. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like I was saying, we, uh, we've been working on this record for about three years. Um, we've been, we worked on it the same, simultaneously, at the same time as, uh, World United Song Service, to be quite honest with you, you know, in La La Land is kind of like the most banger, banger songs from, like, that bunch, you know, um, not because, not because we wanted to, like, sell y'all short on the World United Song Service, it's just that with the song service, it was pretty uh, specific what we had to write about. And, um, you know, so, so we get to flex a certain creative muscle there. Um, but this is a proper memories album where we, you know, we, we got to write tunes and write about whatever the fuck we wanted to write about. Um, and so I'm really excited about it. Um, dang, that, that's crazy. Okay, please start at the beginning. Let me see, Nartapes. Nartes, I want to sort this out for you guys um, because yeah, I'm, I, I'm really excited about this record and it's just really awesome. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not seeing it up there, but someone just texted me and told me that they're listening to it right now. Um, so, so it's online. I guess <laughs> I can't. I can't pull it up. Um, we're 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 working on it. Um, Hold on, let me ask them. What are you listening <coughs> to? What are you listening to it? Ah, uh, oh, it's like the worst. It's the worst somewhere. thing. So there you go. Uh, I'm not sure if you've heard any of these songs, Duffy. Um, but like I was saying, a lot of these tunes are like the. Uh, I linked the DL in the Discord. Let me check that out. Hell yeah. Wait, somebody said they couldn't find something? Just W said it wasn't working. Oh, I, I, I pulled it up. It must have been the, just the link or something in the in the thing, cause it, in the chat, because it's not... The chat link wasn't working? No. For either of the posts you did. Weird, why? It should be. I have, yeah, I have no idea. And when I went to go look for it on the band cam, it wasn't popping up. But Human posted the link, I guess the same link, in the Discord, and that's working for me. So... Um, we're sorting it out. Don't worry about that. We'll uh, um, we'll get that to you, and maybe we'll play a couple songs off that tonight. Yes, we could do that. I mean, y'all could listen to it. Uh, y'all could listen to it on your own. But yeah, we'll play a couple of choice cuts off that, and um, we'll have a real good time. So um, yeah, what is it? What's going on in uh, what's going on in Portland, Duffy? How's it been? How you been? Doing pretty good, dude. I've been hanging, um, been cleaning a little bit. Um, got a show, a room here at our house this week. And then, um, otherwise, just laying low, having cool. fun, cool. chilling, playing lots of video games. I just got Street Fighter 2, uh, the final challengers. For can you play today? Can you play online? Uh, I haven't played that one yet, but some of the games, yeah. Can you you can play uh, the history of online? Yes, online. Ah, but there's no like uh, online battle type thing. Oh, dude, yeah. I bet there is. I haven't even looked yet. I played like just you know like solo for like thirty minutes before this. <laughs> Very cool. I'm into that. Um, so yeah, guys. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah. Check it out. New Memories record. Brand new full length. What are there? 13 tracks? 12? Well, 13. 13 tracks. Pure pop <laughs> bliss from your boys, the memories. Um, the, the hardest stoners with the softest hearts um, in the business. So there you go. We, uh, we got this going <laughs> on. Um, Duffy, are you locked in? Are you strapped in? You ready to uh, do the secret space program thing? Oh yeah, man. I'm always ready. I'm living this shit. All right, so Funkle, let's uh, 
let's hit that uh let's hit that intro huh okay. all right we're gonna play the intro and be right back thank you guys for tuning in to uh paranormal narcast right here on the narc tapes network <laughs> Sounds like it. Cool. Hell yeah, Duffy. That's right. what's up. All I right. like that intro. It's really good. I love the uh, the Hillary Duff I'm... quote. Is that still on there? I was there? about to say, that's my favorite part. <laughs> that shit um, is tight. All right. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, this is the Paranormal Narcast hosted by myself and um, the man in the box, Duffy. Um, not the pizza box, but the box on, on the window, <laughs> on the screen. Um, all, he's uh, calling in all the way from Portland, Oregon. Um, Duffy, mm -hmm. Duffy has experience um, in, in, many, in many paranormal type of fields and activities. Um, he was a member of the Portland branch of TAPS for a while, who, who um, you know, research um, paranormal activity all across... The America, I still got my hat somewhere. All across America. And um, he's done extensive research into all sorts of different, um, what people would say, conspiracy theories, um, secret space programs, Illuminati type stuff, um, government cover ups, undisclosed information. Duffy, Duffy um, you know, he's, he's had his ear to the street as far as all that's concerned. And so, you know, we, we invited him to pretty much be the co-host of this show, Paranormal Narcast. How about that? And um, uh -huh. that's for everyone that's, that's new right now. If you, haven't, uh, if you haven't been tuned in, just giving you guys the 401 about what's going down. What's right. going down? So everyone um, that's watching, um, just want to let you know one more time, we, uh, in honor of Valentine's Day, we just released a brand new full-length memories album um, online on our Bandcamp for free, completely free, 13 tracks, um, and it's fucking amazing. It's called The Memories in La La Land, um, and it's kind of a concept uh, album that uh, you know talks about what it's been like living in Los Angeles and making the move from the Northwest down to the busy city. And so there you go. We put it up there on the on the website. Um, uh, our band camp, you can find it on our band camp, and if you go to the Nartapes website, nartapes.com, you can find a pre-order for the tape cassette coming out very, very, very soon, but if you can't wait for that, just go check out the band camp, download the MP3s, MP3s for free, because, uh, you know, what better, uh, Valentine's Day gift could we give you guys other than, um, a brand new Memories album? For free. For free. MP3s for absolutely free. 13 tracks. Um, I'm really proud of this one. I think this one's a real sweet, sweet album. Um, like I was saying earlier, a lot of these songs were recorded at the same time as the Royal United Song Service, so, you know, fidelity-wise, it kind of has that vibe. And you could even say, like, you know, some of the banger, bangerest songs we made from that era are on, uh... La La Land. Are on in La La Land, so check it out. They're all good. <clears throat> They're all great. I'm um, excited about it. Bree says I'm getting the tape, as you should. You just download it tonight There's a couple too other as well. There's the White Fang pre-order, but also just be the White Fang tape uh, has all the same songs that were pretty much uh, all the songs the same song, but two that were on I Don't Give a Fuck. Yes. So if you have I Don't Give a Fuck, 
Unless you're completist, you don't necessarily need this one. Yeah, totally. Unless you want the artwork, which is really cool. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. We got the pre-orders up for the new White Fang. Um, I guess it's going to be like a South by Southwest tour tape. And then we got the pre-order for the brand new Memories album in La La Land that just released. Uh, we released it tonight at midnight, um, Eastern Standard Time. So it's out now on the West Coast, uh, 9 p.m. There you go. Go grip it. Check out the NAR Tapes band camp. Um, and look, go download that. And let me know what you guys think. If you guys are into it, maybe we'll play some songs from the uh, from the record. And uh, awesome. it'll be sick. Cameron says, just bought the Lawland for $2 back because I love you guys. Oh, I just need the notification. Hell yeah, Cameron, that rip. So there you go, everyone. Um, and Leo says, going to listen after you spook me. All right, there you go. Perfect. Um, if have Guys in the chats, has, have you guys um, checked, anyone checked it out yet? If not, please do it. And um, I guess, Duffy, um, <coughs> I can't wait for you to hear it. Bob Dylan's grandma says, can you put it up on LimeWire? You can do that, Bob Dylan's grandma. That's the whole point of LimeWire um, and Kazaa. Bungle, did you use LimeWire or Kazaa? Yeah, yeah. Duffy, did you use LimeWire? Yo, this thing loves to hang out, hang up on me, man. <laughs> More like Google Hang Up. Hanging up. Yeah. Um, Hangouts. Duffy, uh, Bob Dylan's grandma says, can you put the album on LimeWire? Um, did you use LimeWire or did you use Kazaa when you were uh, in the mid-2000s there? I was in SoulSeek. SoulSeek, hell yeah. Just W is throwing out the uh, the SoulSeek. Oh, WinMX. I forgot about WinMX, dude. God. LimeWire? What was that, Buckle? <laughs> Transmission. LimeWire. I, I went I did the limelight thing for a while and then I like got stuck on Kazaa I liked Kazaa Oh Kazaa I forgot about that Yeah Kazaa was tight um, Bree says Bear Share I don't know Bear Share Just W also says Audio Galaxy Do you know Audio Galaxy Do you remember this I remember that uh, Human says I hears the first track It was hot Very good Bree also says It's snowing guys Cool That's really awesome um, Very good I'm just stuck, so let's, I just, I'm just like, you know, we're, we're 17 minutes in, Duffy, and I'm just kind of excited that the new album just dropped, um, and, and I can't, I can't help but want to talk about that, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, man, I love it when you guys finish an album, it's been a minute. Yeah, the, I mean, the memories we released, Royal United Song Service, last year in the summer sometime, or like, late spring. Yeah. I mean, that one had been in the making for a minute. I was around for a bunch of those songs, even though you guys moved away. Oh, yeah. But uh, I don't think I know anything on this new album, so I'm excited. Yeah, and, and you know, the new record was all recorded here in Los Angeles. Awesome. Um, in Studio G, actually. Uh, some of the vocals may have been recorded at Ricky's house when he was uh, doing the, the summer vacay rental um, out there at Peach Kelly Pop's house. But, um... Yeah, I'm just really stoked that, that, that we're putting it out, and I'm glad that we can gift it um, Radiohead style to um, all our friends and fam and, um, and all that. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm stoked. I, I'm kind of bummed I can't listen to it till after the show, but <laughs> it'll be a good way to, to pass out later if yeah. I don't fall asleep on the air. Yeah, could, we, could you pull up a song from the band camp, Funkel? <laughs> Yeah, like, no no rush. Um, yeah, and so, like I said, 13 tracks. Um, concept album by The Memories. The Memories in La La Land. Talking about, um, you know, it's just it's just basically an RLA album. You know? All the Hell bands. Yeah. All the bands. Those big bands, they all eventually move out to LA from wherever, wherever they came from. And they always make an LA album. You know, when they're all out partying and doing drugs and having a crazy old time and they make this crazy fucking record and so this is kind of like comparable to that that thing that, that yeah. lots of bands do uh just w says gifted thank you guys very good um i'm glad you 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 like it or you like the gift you're welcome just w i hope you were able to find the uh the link source i'm sure Leo says, Dan ish. There you go. There you go. You guys should put it in the um in the in the uh, info for the for the stream. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, wait, it's like always right down there, yeah. 
Not a bad idea, Duffy. I like that. I like that. Um, all right. So, um, like I said, we, we are giving out the album for free on MP3s. Um, all you got to do is go to the Nartapes Bandcamp, uh, nartapes.bandcamp.com. You'll see it there. It should be the top one. And um, you can go ahead and download that ish for free, all 13 tracks for free. Um, Leo X is who made the cover. Our very good friend, Taryn Brown. Um, who is based in Oakland, Taryn Brown, T-E-R-Y-N Brown, and she's an amazing artist, um, and we actually, you know, we met her when she was still living here in L.A. when we first moved down, and so, you know, uh. it, it was cool. Her uh, her dog, Ushi, was kind of a <coughs> super homies with girlfriends, so, so Taryn would come around a lot, and girlfriend and Ushi would hang out, and, you know, so, so uh, she's kind of a... Uh, part of that process of us making this record and moving to LA and, and doing the, the Hollywood thing. I mean, we don't live in Hollywood, but doing the LA thing, you know, she was a big part of uh, part of the homie circle who was really cool. So yeah, there you go, Leo Erickson. Taryn Brown based out of uh, based out of Oakland, California right now. Um, so hell to the yeah, to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you have something queued up quite yet, Funkle? Uh, it hits me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm back. Should we, uh, because when we watch the mute, the videos, that's going to be crazy too, right? Yeah. So we should. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the first one. First video? The first song. No, we're going to do a song oh. off the record real quick. Um, yes. Just to get people, just to get people an idea of what the sound is like, and then Dude, I want uh, and then it. we'll jump yeah. into uh, we'll jump into the secret space program that we've been uh, alluding to this whole time. All right, here we go. This song is called uh, what is it called? In La La Land. <laughs> this song is called In La La Land. Just like a bug, I smoke up with my dog. Take me to the place I wanna go back home. I wanna go to La La Land with you. I packed my things, left my home, and I never looked back. And when I got to yeah. LA, I said, you This like is right where right it's at. And when my friends oh, ask, I say, it's a matter of fact that right here in LA is exactly right where it stands. Sounds really good. Sun is shining all the time, won't you say my mind? The smog is just like a bug I smoke up with my dog. Take me to the place I wanna go back home, I wanna on Spotify um give it time we didn't have plans to do that yet but we could sort something out for that I'm sure or you could just download it from the Bandcamp Carly and put it in your iTunes on your phone or whatever your media browser is <coughs> um, on your phone and you can do that Leo says song is sick smooth chill and real yes very good thank you thank you Leo I appreciate that we worked really hard like I said it took a really long time to, to wrap this this up this album up, and I'm super stoked that it's coming out. I'm super stoked, most stoked, that we're putting it out for free for all you guys, for all you lovely people, because in this world of chaos and disorder, you know, sometimes you take take a step back, 
and just chill out and, and dwell on the loving vibes that the world has to offer. So there you go. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Brie Bake says, no blizzard human. No blizzard human, but it's going to be pretty, but it's going to down pretty hard. Just started, so we'll see in the morning. Wow. Very good. Um, so yeah, Duffy, let's, uh, there you go. You got the shades on. You're ready to do this. Right, oh, yeah. I, I it was the, uh, it was the song, the man. I, you know. Cool. I felt cool. Up, I had to We put up the descriptions for the pre-orders as well. Geeks so, and... So go check out the website. Nartapes.com. It's over here in the in this room. Is it? On the yellow, I think. Um, so, yeah, Duffy. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get this going. Let's get this started. Um, for sure. Today, it's... Uh, tonight's Paranormal Narcast, and tonight we're talking... Secret Space Program, and it's kind of a a, a sequel to last week's episode. Um, we kind of we kind of do dove into it pretty hard, um, but I feel like we kind of got drunk last week too. So like it kind of turned into <laughs> just like a let's talk shit fest to each other. I was tore up. I fell asleep on the air. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. I'm into that. <laughs> that's cool. That's why. That's why you're wearing your sunglasses right now. So just in case. That way you can't tell if I'm awake. Yeah. <laughs> in case they say something weird. All right, so so this week we're talking secret space program. And again, guys, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe, um, subscribe to the channel, and go to the website nartapes.com/gtg and check out some of that fun stuff. All right, secret space program two with Duffy right here on the Paranormal Narcast. Oh, we lost him for a sec, but he'll be right back. Um, so last week we were talking about the secret space program and really brief, 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 brief. Um, Recap and intro to what the secret space program is. Allegedly, uh, we have had uh, Dude. we've had contact <laughs> with with extraterrestrials. Um, you know, it, it dates back to to the ancient Sumerians, um, but as far as modern times goes, um, it, it allegedly we we made contact with the extraterrestrials in the 30s at some point where we were offered some sort of uh, technology, advanced technology, where we re reverse engineered it, um, which kind of explains the whole um, tech, tech boom of the 1900s. You know what I mean? Like we Yeah, dude, and look at all technology except rocket ships has gotten so cool. It's on, like, Star Trek levels now. But exactly. we're still just like strapping ourselves to big fireworks to get up into space. Exactly. Allegedly. It's amazing. It's amazing that in a hundred years they went from traversing the continent, continent on, on boats, on boats and, and covered wagons to, to rocket propulsion systems flying and landing on the moon. Um, and with the secret space program, the whole deal behind that is, is that we've had the technology well before before NASA has said um, that we have the technology to do it, and we've been in cahoots with the extraterrestrial beings from h however many different um, different planets and different um, galaxies and solar systems, and and they've been lacing us up with with the the technology where humans then reverse engineer it, and so lots of people, you know, they believe that. Uh, the, the UFOs we see are probably just our, our, our reverse engineered versions of what extraterrestrial crafts could be. They're mostly military, I think. Yeah. Exactly. So Duffy, um, yeah, I was just trying to give a brief, brief summary about that. But um, what else? That's pretty good. What else do you have to say about that? Man, well, you or, know, it's or like we could start from the beginning um, again. Sure, because that's like this really is absolutely first off my favorite subject when it comes to ufology, ghosts, any of this stuff. My main interest, my obsession, is this military secret space program and what they call the breakaway civilization. Breakaway civilization. You'll see that a lot researching um, secret space program. Yeah, the term was coined by Richard Dolan, who's uh, one of my favorite. Uh, researchers on the subject. This guy's been doing some really good, legit ass research for a really long time, and uh, he's he's the one who came up with the term. So the idea is, yeah, like a lot of us believe pretty wholeheartedly that we were made by uh, an alien race. We were engineered, human beings, and uh, from there, you know, they let us develop for a while. 
eh, maybe they hung around, maybe they're the one percent. Something like that wouldn't surprise me. But largely, they let society kind of develop. They they say around like World War Two time, you know, we started to make contact with this group of humanoid extraterrestrials. They looked like us. They they were blonde haired. Yeah, more more or less. Yeah, they were they were the more or less yeah, human type you, aliens. You could bring up the Star Child skull and um you know, Oh yeah, man. So, well, you know, you know there's all, with but, all that Anunnaki thing, that's pretty much the ancient astronaut theory. We think that there was a, a lot of different kinds of ETs here, even besides the ones that made us. Yes. Like all kinds of ETs had been here for long periods of time, thousands of years. I think they were very publicly here um, a long time ago. Like, everybody just knew. I think the world was as connected as it is today. Yeah. We're talking like a real modern time here. A, a antediluvian. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Way, way back. And... So if uh, if ETs were just kind of here lurking, and for some reason they they shut up and they went away, they hid, they went into the to the background, they let us forget they were ever here. Um, then they maybe they control our society in some way, and that's why they have all these black budgets and things now. But whatever happened, we know that sometime around the 1940s. 30s to, to 50s, some pretty drastic thing happened where they made contact and we started to take the first steps to getting back out into space ourselves. And uh, we lost Doug. Oh, me. see, they don't like to talk about the truth on the Narcan um, Network, guys. So, yeah, like like he was kind of saying is that, <coughs> is that, um, so we've been, we've been, you know, if you're going to buy into all this stuff, we've been in contact with. Um, I guess I'll just say the Anunnaki's right now. The Anunnaki's are the the race of space beings that came. God down. damn. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So I was just I, I was just recapping what you said. So um, if 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 you were to believe all this stuff, then uh, we start back, you know, way thousands of years ago to the Anunnaki coming down, um, who are the space race, um, who some people believe that is responsible for for our step in, in our evolutionary pattern, essentially. Um, and some of the research I, I did today, I learned that, um, you know, the Anunnaki's came here to uh, to find gold. They needed gold for some reason. Go back it out there. And so... It was to fix a, a problem they were having with their atmosphere of their planet. They were allegedly powderizing the gold, pulverizing it, turning it to powder, and then suspending it in a shield around their planet. That is insane. So, um, yeah, and, and with that, they... Um, the mosquito right there. Get, get that ball. Did it. So, um, with that being said, um, you know, I guess there's certain evidence or, or historical, historical documents from the Sumerians that say, Dan, did you drink that whole thing, Duffy? Nah, there's another one. This one was on my floor. Okay, I was gonna say, man, you need to <laughs> slow down. Um, <laughs> so there, there, you know, there, there's certain ancient texts which allude that the Anunnaki came um, to South Africa because there was uh, a huge gold, a huge gold, uh, gold reserve underneath the earth, and and there, when they found the gold, that's when they decided that uh, they want the gold. Let's see, let's see what happens if we if we create this new <coughs> Earth species where we. They create... showed up singing that leprechaun song. Yeah. <laughs> I want the gold. Give me the gold. And so you know, the, know they, where's the gold at? They say that they mixed the Homo erectus species with their uh, their bloodline to create, and what what came out of that is us, Homo sapien human the conscious the conscious human being and, yep and so that that's where it all kind of starts um and then fast forward to the 30s um i believe it was like i believe some some people pinpoint it to like 31 or 32 well this is like one of those weird things where you could take this if you really wanted to all the way back to remember from previous shows the the sonora aero club yeah and all the weird you know, 1980, whatever, 
hundreds, the eighteen hundreds uh, Arrow mysteries. Yeah, you know, then. There were already little groups of people looking up how to do different kinds of flight. Weird, um, really rich people trying to put money into being on the cutting edge of, of man flight. Yeah. And they made those weird arrows, allegedly. But, you know, this is largely debated by history now. Of course. They, a lot of they, this was kind of secret, um, secret, secret type stuff. Um, and yeah, yeah I, I, I know that um, in Germany... Um, there were groups that were already working with um, anti-propulsion, anti-gravity, anti-gravity well, yeah, so, propulsion, okay. pre-Nazi. Yeah, this, this, this guy invented this thing called the Repulsine. Um, oh, God, what was his name? Uh, Victor Schauberg, maybe, I think was his name. Uh-huh. Created the Repulsine, and it worked on, on like a Frisbee. It was like Taurus air energy. You know, using momentum yeah, to using, make something spin. Using two opposite um, directions of momentum to... Uh, yeah, and then they used energy. some kind of liquid mercury. And this was something they found specifically in the old Sonora Aero Club. Um, they were already making that stuff, I guess. They were already using engines that worked that way, that were bell-shaped. Victor Schauberger. Yeah, yeah, Schauberger with the, the repulsing. So then you had this lady, um, Leah Hersig, right? Um, I, she was uh, the, a channel, I guess, for some group of ETs. Um, yeah, she was a media, were, a psychic media. They called it the Eldabarin mystery. They said they were from the Eldabarin constellation, and they were allegedly, you know, able to speak through these um, this Vril Society, which was a, an all-female offshoot of the Thule Society, <laughs> who were all weird occultists and part of something else called uh, the Order of the Black Sun in, in Germany. Um, they think that those... <laughs> okay, Duffy lost. Le uh, we lost him again. Scared of the truth, these FBI agents are. So essentially what he's talking about is, um, you know, the society, um, I believe in Germany, where they had a, a psychic medium who was their connection to this extraterrestrial race. And um, <clears throat> basically... Damn. There we go. So I, I was just saying that this... Put up these graphics real quick. Yes. These groups, um, this group, with the help of the psych... Okay. Yeah, with the help of the psychic medium... We're able to, to, to contact and connect with... To an ET race. To an extraterrestrial race. And essentially... But, but dude, even to, like, the credit of this, she received information on how to build one of these, like, flying disc machines. When she wrote down what she wrote down, it was all in Akkadian or cuneiform. It was all in Sumerian. And she actually wrote out instructions on how to build a repulsing in Akkadian. <laughs> they had to translate this later to figure out that she was speaking ancient Sumerian. Yeah, which is which is insane. And then that and that that takes it all the way back to um, the ancient races and the meeting ups with the Anunnaki and all that. So now right. so now back back to what is it, the black what was it, the black society you were saying? The Black Sun, the Order Black, of the Black Sun. Order of the those, Black Sun. Oh, I made a sale. Did we? Yeah, 1272 <laughs> from Human. Hell yeah, thank you, Human, for that sale. What was it? Uh, I'm going to look it up right now. Very good. So yeah, let's, let's shout go to the Black... <laughs> I keep wanting to Leo's say Black Label it. Society. But that's, uh, that's Zach Wilde's band, I think. The Order of the Black, Black Sun, the Vril oh, Society, yeah. and the Thule Society. Yes. Vril is just like a made-up thing, but the idea is like there's this energy, the force, if you will, um, chi, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah. Magic. This uh, prana, uh, whatever. Uh, ether. Ether. Uh, and you so... know, the universe is made of this, uh, this stuff that you can uh, respond to consciousness, so you can manifest things. It's the idea behind it. The... Um, this weird group of Austrian, German, and Hungarian money seem to have actually come up with working spacecraft apparently by the 1930s. Yeah, yeah. On their own. 
and then after the Nazis took power, they apparently went they, very all in. Yeah. Um, in that direction. Uh, the end of World War II, we absorbed all of the, the valid good scientists. Yeah, because came you, have, you know, the US. Uh, 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 if, if you're Adolf Hitler or whatever and the Nazis and you find out that in your own country there's a, a group of people who have this crazy advanced technology, you're, you're going to do everything in your best interest to, to take over all that because you need to know. You're losing a war. You need you need something to help you. You know, and so yeah. so you, the the Nazis Hitler put his top top scientists on on these things on these projects <coughs> with the guidelines. Well, and so we absorb their scientists, and then they become our projects. You know, but allegedly, you know, they've got a base on the moon. Allegedly, they've got a base on Mars. Allegedly, they've got a base. Um, on the on one of the asteroids in the asteroid yeah, belt between yeah, Saturn Yeah, yeah, and on moons of other planets in the solar system, and you know, excuse me, they they've got plenty set up out there. Um, we're settling all over this this uh, solar <coughs> system, and and probably way beyond it. I wonder how far out it goes. You know, like maybe if you're like working <coughs> on the moon, you're not allowed to know about anything that happens outside the solar system. But then if you like. You know, maybe if you're like working on Mars, you're allowed to know more, a little bit more than somebody on the moon, or yeah, however like, far out it goes yeah, at some point. Yeah, obviously, because if you're on the if you're on Mars, then you're probably running you're running supplies and running whatever to somewhere even further away. Yeah, I mean, I just imagine that if there is like something like this going on, there's probably like a lot of reasons why we don't hear about this stuff. You know? Yeah. Very few, probably not more than like three hundred to a thousand people who are ever on the Earth yeah. are part of this. And so, with it's that, very small. With that being said, um, you know, if you are to believe that that we do have bases out there, then then you also will have to believe that we do um, have some sort of spacecraft carrier essentially like like something well, that you see and especially that... if you flash forward to like modern times you look at the work of uh, a lot of people who've come forward like the work of Bob Lazar Bob Lazar yep back in in retrospect Bob Lazar's engine works exactly like a repulsing with you know and and like uh, the vimana craft of uh, the ancient indian epics and the Oh shit, Duffy got cut off. The FBI is watching, guys. Don't be afraid. They're not going to get at you. So far, they haven't got a Duffy yet. He's alive. We have, fi we have we had 15 watching. We have 13 watching now. 11 likes. Don't be afraid to hit that like button or the dislike button. It's well, all good to us over here, you know? Yeah. You got you put yourself out there in the world. You got to take some You got to take some hits, you know? So, yeah. It's no big deal. And we're talking about the secret space program with our friend Duffy. Uh, he's back now. There he is. There he goes. Wow. Okay, we lost you for a sec. So let's go. I went to a dark place. <laughs> So let's go to uh, the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s, um, because jump, jumping to the spacecraft carrier is kind of a, it, it's, it's a bit, right. it's not, we're not there well, yet, we're not there yet. We're not quite there, but we're planning it, we want to do it, we're, we're almost there. So yeah, you we're, know. we're like post-World War, we're post-World War, um, you know, 1%. Uh, secret, secret. We're just figuring group. this shit out. We're so just getting to, out there ourselves. They're trying to figure stuff out. Um, and then Roswell happens, and Roswell sparks the imagination of the entire country. What could that See, be? now I have a theory about Roswell, man. I think that was one of our crafts. Yeah. I think that was one of our first crafts. But look at what Kenneth Arnold said, right? He was the guy who, in, he in, up in the Northwest here, who invented the term flying saucer. He was describing the formation of military craft he saw up here at, like, Mount Rainier. You know, and this was like the first report of a flying saucer in all of the United States that we can think of in those terms of flying saucer being used. And he saw a military formation. <laughs> yeah. And that's probably ours too. Which, which is funny because like you would think that uh, an extraterrestrial um, advanced civilization, if they're going to come here with their ships, they're not going to do this spearhead point formation that 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 us humans and military people have been using for 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 years, right? Well, uh, dude, and dude, have you ever read the shit that Betty and Barney Hill said happened to them? No. Dude, 
It's pretty wild. Read the, even if you could find a video on Betty and Barney Hill's actual account oh. of what happened is like secret space program no, to I, the extreme. I do know that. Yeah, I do know that story. Dude, and it's like a bunch of different ETs working together. You yeah. know, and so this this whole idea is really as old as UFOs and all that are themselves in, in the human consciousness. We've always kind of thought it was very possible that something could be going on just outside of our field of vision. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just be it past where we can see and perceive. And so we've never been able to see it. We're, we're largely unaware. Yeah, and so, and going back to NASA, like with the inception of NASA. Ah, uh, and um, Gary McKinnon becoming a very important name, largest military hack in history. But oh, most yeah. people who, who know his name don't know Matthew Bevan's name. Look him up too. He was first. So Leo and what Eric he saw, saw was electromagnetic anti-gravitic um, blueprints when he got in there. Yep. Yeah. Um, I watched an interview with him, and he he wasn't able to take a screenshot. He's only twenty one. He was viewing he was viewing the image on like a Java app, so he wasn't it wasn't writing to his hard drive. Oh, Gary like McKinnon, yeah, yeah. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Leo Erickson says, "Do you know Werner von Braun? First son oh, of NASA. Yeah. He used to be a Nazi, I think. Oh, he was. Yeah, and he eventually became the head of NASA. He was one of the uh, the paperclip scientists we brought over." So it was like, you know, either the, the Soviet Union got them or we got them. Yeah, exactly. And so... So, it's bidding war, you know, who wants to be the first in space? So, you know, um, if, if you were one to believe that all this is true, then it is not far-fetched. It's even, like, it's, it's totally 100% possible that NASA has been a cover-up from the beginning, from the start. Right. Um, well, and that's the thing. This is, this is the smokescreen agency, NASA. Not saying that they're not really doing everything they're doing, but like I feel like NASA would be like, you know, like watching somebody, you know, live like the 1800s next door to you, but yeah. pretending, never letting them know you were there. Yeah. You know, it's like you're watching this guy with his covered wagon and his Bible and he's going to, you're going to buy some oxen today, you know build a barn i don't know I, I, his life is, is a lot of hard farm work and then and then you're on the other side of that and you're like flying like around. smoking space joints yeah. like <laughs> you know fucking, space yeah joint. my favorite kind leo says yeah, NASA, high as hell. leo says For, nasa is a front to keep the public slow yeah exactly right yeah, and he says the government's like 20 years ahead of what we see now. Yeah, at least 20 years. 20? No, I've been man. going off like 200. Said it's like 200 years. Yeah, they've, they've been yeah. having they have androids. Like, it's like nuts. Android like technology. That's what's been in black. What do you think? MIB are androids. Yeah, see, they cut them off. The men in black are androids <laughs> that, uh, that they've had since like the 50s. Yeah. And since they were the shitty. They weren't working very well back then either. They've just, like, been working on it since back then. But people still believed it was a real person. Yeah. And you know, allegedly, we've had the technology to have space stations since since the fifties. Um, um, I, I did read somewhere that, that they took we, me. We, they got you. Are you experiencing any lost time, Duffy? Let me put a PP really quickly. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what I was. What? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we were, were we were we still talking about? I don't even know, man. We they just, erased my mind. We were just talking about. Um, you know about how the, the MIB are. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, they're not people. They're not. They're robots. That's why they shut me up. Androids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're gonna come in here again and tell me that stop, yeah, whatever I'm doing. They, they know. They do. They do know. They're watching all of us. They know what we're doing every minute of the day. They've been watching you since you were a kid. Dude, all these phones. These are just fancy wiretaps, man. They could probably read your mind with this shit when you hold it to your head. Fancy wiretaps? Duh, yeah. dude. They know what you dreamt about and shit That's when you're like... Whoa, dude, that'd be so sick to have a dream reader machine. I'd be way into checking that out. I'd be like, what? My dreams were fucked up. I'm yeah. deleting this one, dude. <laughs> I'd release mine. That'd be sick. I'd have a dream blog. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I have fucking... Yeah, my dreams would be pretty good like horror movies where it's like they don't make any sense. I'm just running from... Constantly running from things. <laughs> you know that's what um that's what uh what's his name says he does man fucking uh Twin Peaks and shit. 
Yeah, right? Dream yeah, Reader. Yeah, that's like yeah, his whole thing. Says, space joint dope. Dream Reader. Yeah, I have a oh, Dream Reader. You enjoyed that, Tommy? Yeah. yeah. She did a little thing. It's true. Up. So, yeah, so I'm um, going back to um, the early inceptions of NASA. They, 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 they use NASA as a show for people. Um, it's a I big guess, front. You know, at that time, um, rocket technology was still relatively new to the public. And well, so, I got something. Keep going. Okay. So, um, you know, they, they use NASA also not just as a way to keep people slow, but as a way to, um, you know, show superiority over the Soviet Union. Um, which is funny because the Soviet Union is, you know, probably has ends on, on contact with these extraterrestrial civilizations. There you go. Extraterrestrial civilization edited by GM Tov Masian. Very nice. Very good. And so this, this shouldn't exist. This is translated from Russian. Um, for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the National Science Foundation, Washington, D.C. <laughs> yeah, what is that? NASA printed this. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, what the fuck is that, man? Yeah, and, and so, you know, there, there's, there's even footage. It's from like 1938 or some shit. Hold on, you can find it in here. It's fucking dumb. There's even, um, you know, there's even footage of President Dwight D. Eisenhower at, the, at his last... <laughs> address to the nation where he he pretty much warns everyone saying that hey there there's there's power like there's powers out there um a lot more advanced than you could even fathom that even the president has no control of he said you know he said something along those lines in his farewell address to the nation and so you know of course they're gonna let the president know a little bit about what's going on with all that but the real, the real one in charge is the, 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 the Secretary of Defense. He's, he's the one who has, you know, all the highest clearance, and he's the one, at least in, in the realm of the United States government, because, you know, all this is a lot bigger than, than the United States government. Um, oh, yeah. But there's clues, man. There's fucking clues out there, and, and lots of people have seen, seen things. Baldwin's Ground says, how do you join the FBI? Um, I think you just apply like any other. Yeah, job. they got tests and shit, but yeah, it's, it doesn't just... work like that to join the secret space program. I've tried. <laughs> Carly G says LMAO Duffy and his candy. Eat a salad, boy. Sartorius is here. What's says, that? What's good, y'all? Sartorius, um, we just released uh, the brand new Memories cassette. Uh, actually, the album online for free and a pre order for the cassette, the Memories in La La Land. Go to the website, narctapes.com. Check out that pre-order and go to the band camp if you want to see um, or download the free the free album, our Valentine's Day gift to you. Okay, Duffy, so um, I guess where we're at now is we've made contact. We're, we're in the... We, we got them going. We're, we're doing shit. There's space. We got there. NASA. We got yeah. our front. There's bases. There's the front. There, and, and NASA works so well as a front on so many different levels where... The yeah. U.S. starts getting... Oh, oh, they cut him off. Oh. Well, shit. Uh, well, we'll take this moment. Hello, Sartoris, one of our uh, good viewers here. Carly, Bob Dylan's grandma. Says, Bob Dylan's grandma says, how do you join the FBI? You asked that? Yes. He did. We did. We, uh, we talked about we're it. We're good, yeah. Yeah, okay. You're all good. Sartoris, uh, yeah, so everybody out there, if you just joined us, this is the Nartapes Network. This is the Paranormal Narcast. Now weekly... Guys, that's another thing I need to announce. Oh, yeah. Uh, that we're, uh, <coughs> what's up, Duffy? Um, just talking about how... Uh, we're going to be start doing this show weekly now. We're going to start doing uh, Skinny Jesus every Sunday again. We're going to start doing Narioki every Monday again. We're going to start yeah. doing Paranormal every Tuesday and Narte Dips Night Live every Friday. And then sometimes, or once in a while, I might do a Doodles Den, do Daddy's Doodle Den, but then I'm going to turn the All Strains Considered into a podcast you can listen to. So uh, that's going to be something that I'm excited about that I'm going to eventually air out for you guys, and I'm going to record some of those, but... Uh, yeah, this is the Paranormal Norcast. It was every other week. Now we're doing it every week. We've got Duffy on here. Duffy's been on every episode for a while. Hope he can do it every week as well. Yeah. And I was just letting everybody else out there know that uh, we also, we're, we, uh, the Nartapes Network, if you don't know what it is, it's a live streaming channel that is run by a record label called Nartapes. Uh, we made it a couple years ago to start uh, doing stuff here in our studio, which we've been doing. And we also have a record store at our label here. And we're also in bands. We have a band called White Fang. That's our main band. And we also have a band called The Memories. It is also very... Uh, 
very busy thing for us as well. Uh, band The Memories just released a new album online for free for Valentine's Day called The Memories in La La Land. Isaac just mentioned it to you. Um, but you can download it <clears throat> for free at thememories.bandcamp.com. There you go. Uh, let's do it on Valentine's Day. It's a concept album about the memories. Uh, first couple years living in Los Angeles. That was 2014, 2015, kind of 2016. And we recorded it at the, <clears throat> yeah, 2015, 2016. Like two, three, or three, four years, or three, two, three years ago. Yeah, like two, uh, two, two and a half. It took us like a year three. to record, and it was like two, three years ago when we recorded it. And uh, <laughs> eventually it'll come out on vinyl, but you can pre-order the cassette tonight, uh, and you can download it as well. And uh, also we have pre-orders up for the new Eeks album. They're a really, really cool band from Paraguay, Asuncion, Paraguay. We put out their first tape, a lot of you guys already have it, and you can get that at the website as well. These are all going to be pro-dub, pro-printed, you know, sealed, factory sealed, like brand new cassettes. And we also have uh, some pre-orders for you guys for the White Fang South by Southwest 2018 tour teaser tape, which has uh, five of the seven songs that were on the I Don't Give a Fuck tape that we did for the European tour, the uh, Sorry About America tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you had that, you don't necessarily need this one. There's completely different artwork, and it actually has two less songs than that were on the I Don't Give a Fuck. But this is a tape that we're going to be uh, selling at South by Southwest and also giving to some friends and fans. So if you wanted to get one now, I suggest you do it because we're not. We, we leave for South by Southwest in about a month, so you have a month to get it. All right. There you go. There you go. Uh, Paul Cowan says, "What were they in the F X Files? They were FBI agents." Yep. Mulder and Scully. Chris Fungal says, "Eligibility is listed there. Can't smoke weed at all." Not surprised about that. Where? If FBI. you. Uh, I don't know. I'm not okay FBI. with that. Uh, Leo it's in, wrong. in Venice says, "What do you miss most about Portland? What will will that be your next album's theme?" No, I miss, I miss the outdoors. I miss the food. That's pretty much it. Most of our other memories albums were all pretty uh, Portland centric. Yeah. About like smoking weed and sitting inside while it's raining and stuff. Yeah. So we already probably kind of did that for the first two like four years that we were a band before we moved to LA. Yeah. This album's been a long time coming. We this this album we were, we finished recording this album like two years. It's been ago. done for a long time, yeah. and we had plans to release it on vinyl, and then like we just got we started writing all this other stuff, and then we got that backed up, and then we were just like, okay, we just need to like just clear this out, give it to the fans. I mean, I'm sure somebody's gonna put it on vinyl eventually anyway, but we're we just you know, we want to focus on writing new stuff. So there it is. That's that's all there for you. So is there gonna be a NAR live this Wednesday, of course, tomorrow, and we're also gonna have the Memories performing live. Yeah. Uh, acoustic style because uh, Jimmer is out of town. Yeah, so. it's gonna be sick. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, Lucas too. Lucas coming through. Human yeah. says y'all gonna stream at South by Southwest. Probably on our phones and Wildcat and stuff. Yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll figure hell something yeah. out. We'll do something fun. Um, hell yeah. That, that's that's all great news. I'm stoked for the new tape. Yeah, all of the for the new uh, record coming out and the new new album. It was very good. I'm very excited. Yes, me That's as well. what's up. I'm happy. I'm. Ha it, it's just. It's just been finished for so long. I'm just happy it's out. It's done. Like it's finally done. Yeah. You know. Hell like, yeah. The album's not done until you officially. I know. I saw it some, somebody order. Somebody, now we've had two purchases already. I'm looking at it in the inbox. They're like memories in La La Land like receipt. Yeah, you're just like. Oh. Whoa, man! It's out now. So, yeah. Damn! Better be done now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's finished. <laughs> yeah. It's done. It's Ever seen you guys? Yeah. Um, so yeah, should we, um, you want to play another song about that, maybe, or? Sure. That was nice. nice. Oh, when you took off the art, did you also take off the, uh, tequila on the inside J car? Where it says that I added the, yeah. the drums? Yeah. We, we it just, just says North Figaro Street. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Yes, we did that. Yeah. Right. What would be, uh, a, a good... did five grams. Five grams. We took that off. Is, I, I'm not so we sure. we didn't use that one we didn't use that one at all yeah, in the first then, place. Oh yeah, so you just took off that yeah, one. Yeah, I think it. I think it only says that other one, which is cool because we were able to. We added a new beat, but it starts with the beat on a loop, and so any of you audiophiles out there will know that what I did will work. Is that I duplicated that beat, I reversed the phase to do what is called phase cancellation, looped it so that it removed the beat as that audio is from the entire file. And then we did the drums back over it. There you go. Very fun scientific process. Some real engineer work there. Face cancellation is crazy, huh, Isaac? Yeah. Bob Dolan's grandma says, I could live without weed if it meant I could see aliens and shit or at least carry a gun. 
guns everywhere. Well, you can carry a gun everywhere, if you, even if you want to, in most yeah, parts of the country. Go to Texas. And also, you can probably see aliens for sure uh, if you went to certain places. But I also don't think that you're going to see aliens for sure just by being the FBI. I think most of the time you're going to see dead bodies, of little kids, and shit, and like weird yeah, small towns real na- you, that you're going to have to go send to like look at, and you're going to have to go like bust some like tweaker guy. Like. Or it's going to be really boring, and you're like in charge of like bookkeeping bookkeeping stuff you're, you're like in charge of uh, catching people for fraud there's tons of FBI fraud. jobs there are FBI jobs I would say that you you know one, oh, of the things, one of the things about the FBI is you're gonna probably want a few college degrees <coughs> at least, and, at least uh, two master degrees this is, this is gonna be crazy I would never I would never uh, uh, suggest this to anyone else but you might want to even look into enlisting in military service. <laughs> and then... They like that shit. That, they that like means that they shit know you're compliant. a lot. But yeah, if you're really trying to go study criminal investigation at your your community college until you can get a nice transfer degree and scholarship somewhere, and then by the time you're like 24, 25, you can be a hot young gun, gun, uh, gumshoe at the Federal B- Bureau of Investigation, and you can crack down on black people. Yeah. Damn. That's what the FBI does. Yeah. They're pieces of sh- All right, so sweet. yeah, let's uh, let's pieces play uh, of a track off the album, maybe. I mean, uh, Heyman says, uh, or Leo in Venice says, Unk's a genius. Uncle yes. Funkle is a genius. That is true. Heyman Do says, you? smart Funkle. Heyman says, if you, I mean, if you smoke enough weed, you'll see aliens. And then a trippy alien emoji Emo- follows the text there. Emoji. Um... The uh, bottle's gets yellow. Yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Get so high, you see aliens. Then I have one time when I was in Denver once, and I was telling everybody, I was like, Hello? Oh, we're getting <laughs> oh, we can hear Duff, we can't see him. Huh, you can hear me, but you can't see me. No. Are you Interesting. In- That's kind of like a call-in show. Do they got you in the vortex, man? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hold on. I'm trying to figure it out now. Why? Why can't you see me? Why why can't Get away you from see me? me? Be, be okay, Duffy. Huh. Don't let them. They're coming inside. They don't want us to see what happens. <laughs> so this was happening last week, too. Um, where Dude, they're... Yeah, what are they doing? Where they were uh, cutting Duffy's stream. Yep. I mean, that's what we were saying. Leo says, I hear a lot of things I can't see. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Job opening at, at the FBI? Yeah, it has a <laughs> what does that Why mean? That? You know, <laughs> that, that's a fake post. No, it's, it's, it's an FBI Whoa. Yeah, yeah it's not, you're not on Craigslist, right? Yeah. Craigslist uh, job openings at the FBI. I want you to spy on my grandma. <laughs> He's a special agent. She's holding out on the trust fund. <laughs> Bob Dylan's guy says, they've already replaced Duffy. Damn. We're done. Take us away, FBI man. Oh, I can see the, like, you're, like, your, it, is your, have you clicked does, your, your camera button? It does that when he's on, too. Uh... FBI DJ. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, uh, welcome to the FBI entourage. Uh, we're going out in the limousine. Gonna get some martinis. Uh, Bippy, Bippy says, help, I'm a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm about to eat. eat. What do I do? Carly G says, jump off the counter and run away. I've answered this like three times. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, man. There you go. Whoa, can you see me? Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Whoa. All right, yeah, we're going to do this this way, I guess. <laughs> yep, nice. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm ready to, like, shoot, uh, like, the Death Star every Bibi time says, I put this headset on. Bibi says, I don't have legs. Well, then I would say if you're a peanut butter sandwich about to eat and you don't have legs, I would say just brace yourself. Yeah, you got to accept your fate. That's your <laughs> that's your role in this, uh, in this crazy... You crazy obviously got movie. fingers, though, if you're typing, so you can use those to crawl across the counter if you need to. What do you think a, yep. a, man's, a uh, you know, a rabbit does when it's been immobilized by a wolf? It just... just it dies? Out. Let's, yeah. yeah, let's the drugs in the brain that are preparing you for your next, your next level uh, mm. kick in, and then you, 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 you flack out, and you, you let yourself become Get food. Eaten. All this talk of eating rabbits makes me want to... I have zero, zero, zero mercy for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I'm about to eat. 
Yeah, you're done. Yeah, I'm you're, not even thinking about how... You're done before you're made, bro. I, I mean, I guess if it's a peanut butter instead of sandwich just like freaking out, then I need, maybe need to start rethinking my peanut butter and je- jelly decisions. Um, <laughs> Bob Dylan's grandma says, yeah, I didn't think about the fact that the FBI do fucked up racist shit. I was just thinking about them aliens. Yeah, yeah when I, I used I to think CIA about that all the time. When I, when, mm-hmm. I would, when I would watch the X-Files, I would, you know, be like, oh, like, what, what kind of dream is that to be, like, yeah. Fox Mulder, you know? Well, he was also renegade in the force, and nobody liked him on the FBI. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> what up, Dar fam? What up, Ouchie? What up, Ouchie? Carly G says, uh, use the force of your torso. Sartor says, Dup A. Human says, sup, Ouchies. Ouchies says, Dup, you did the CIA put sleeping powder in your milkshake last week? Billy says, can you come <laughs> save me, or can you eat me? Eat. Eat. Uh, Carly says, no one can save you. No one can save anyone. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even save myself. <laughs> Come on, oh, yeah. save yourself. Yeah, that's on. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. That was a good one. Oh, yeah, we got 50 likes. Ouches. Welcome, buddy. Got a bunch of new shit on the Nartif website for you to peep your uh, interested fingers on. And your ears. You treat your ears and your eyes. Nice. All right, Isaac. Very good. Um, so I was going to say we should maybe listen to one of the tracks. Another Memories track? Yeah. Hell yeah. Do it. Which one would be a good one? We did In La La Land. I was like, which one is this again? But I was like, uh, In La La Land. The title track? <laughs> it's just called La La Land. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go, yeah. Uh, it might say In La La Land on the website, though. Uh, whatever. Uh, oh, let's yeah. do um, up, an upbeat. Uh, let's second track. The second track. The second track, if you got that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's true. 
what they say Hot girls live in L.A. And here they will always stay Here in L.A. So tell me, friend, have you seen them? Other girls wanna be them Maybe tonight you might find The hottest girls in town Digging it. So tell me, friend, have you seen them? Other girls wanna be them. Maybe tonight you might Like those, yeah. Did you like those jammers? Did you guys like the jammers? Um, That's what's up. I hope you did. You can listen to it all for free online. We'll play a couple more throughout the show as we yeah. go. But let's uh, let's get let's jump back into it. Yep. Um, Leo says, "Yo." I'm assuming you like it. I hope you like. I hope that means you like it. Um, Carly D says, "This song is so cute." I think she was talking about the last one um, we played, not the the one we just listened to. Um, and Human says, "Love them." BD just says, hey, Fungal, what kind of bass do you use? Oh, I'm holding it right now. Um, but you didn't play it on that, that song. That was Isaac. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're talking about the bass that Isaac used on that song, you used the uh, Fender. I probably used the, bass. That, that, the gold bass. Yeah, the Fender uh, J bass, P bass uh, hybrid. But this is a Court T55 five string bass with EMG Hertz pickups and uh, <coughs> modified with dice for, uh, for tone and volume knobs. It's a great bass. I love it. Yeah. I love the low string. Yeah. You gotta have it, huh? I, I'm really into it now. Carly G says, "How is everything you guys? Every how is everything you guys make so perfect?" Well, I'll just say this: it's not perfect because I mean the song is very these songs are very very dope. I will admit these songs are really good. I have to say that myself. I make songs I like to listen to. Personally, so does Isaac. Yeah. We make songs together, then we make something together, and it's not like I made it technically myself. We made it for ourselves. Yeah. And for you guys, obviously, we know what you guys like out of the memories now, so we try to stick to that. Plus, you know, we were writing these songs as we did as we were recording them. And then we fell in love with the recording. So, I mean, they could have been fully fleshed out, realized. Perfect is subjective. I think they're perfect that way they are. But, you know, they could yeah. have been better in every every way. And that's the thing with recording a song. It could have been uh, any kind of way you could perform it. It could have been better performances all, in all kinds of different ways. It could have been recorded so many different ways. But, yeah, it's definitely far from the industry standard of perfect. But I say fuck the industry standard, so. Yeah, we wanted to make an album, man. Yeah, the industry okay. standard is pretty fucking whack to me yeah. anyway, so. Fuck now the in formula, the, in, dude. In this case... Uh, this is a record that uh, Isaac and Ricky made just by themselves, right? No one yep. else is on this record. It's only me and Isaac. Yeah. All the music, all the instrumentals by Isaac, all the lyrics and vocals are by me. That's right. Now, that might be the only Memories record like that, huh? Yes, it's true. It's the only record that any of our bands have like that. It's yeah. only two people. Yeah. And there's no other one like that. Yeah. Except for Freeway and Uncle Funk. Yes. Yeah. Which is, the, that's, <laughs> that's like the Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, it's not really <laughs> a band, per se. Free and Funkel. Peter is trip. Well, this says that time my uncle's getting a J bass, so I'm going to try and learn how to play it. Hell yeah, I'm yeah, sure you'll do a, just fine. Bass dude. is a great, really fun instrument to play. Just W says they're musical geniuses. Oh, thank Sardar you. Sardar says all the new stuff gets better and better from you guys. Well, just wait till that. That's just like two, three years old. Yeah. Uh, just wait for the even newer stuff we recorded since then is still old now, too. Yeah. Uh, but not to blow our own horn. That, but thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, Leo says, respect y'all's process. Thanks, man. Respect you guys for kicking it with us and listening. So, yeah, anyway, we're talking about the Secret Space yeah, program. Let's, let's right? jump, let's yeah, let's jump back into it, Duffy. So let's let's start, like, uh, let's let's get, we're, like, NASA. 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 Duffy. Oh, whoa. Duffy. Well, it looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> It's not working. You're you're not you're not. I can see you like in like bits and pieces and chunks. It's like you're moving, it's like. 
Just lighter his homie's dick now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you okay. know what I'm saying? We're on the second half of the... We're starting on the second half of the slab the other day. Yeah? Yep. Finally. But Jesse said he's going to come soon, and we have yes, another one. Cool. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll be, be good. Be, we'll be good. We don't have to buy dabs for a while. We'll be good for Infinite everybody. dabs. That's like when you... when you We've already beat the game, and so now we're, we're starting New Game Plus, and we have infinite dabs. Yeah. Duffy, <laughs> you're not... You're not coming oh, through. Oh, those are you sure that's really dumb you're talking to? Yeah, it's at this point, oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, we got 16 watching. <laughs> How many are watching are the FBI? <laughs> not me, says FBI. NASA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. NASA is the smoke screen organization. <laughs> there. Whoa, am I tripping? Yeah, yeah, dude, it sounds crazy. Dude, you haven't been talking, like, for that whole time. NASA. And then I was like, so what about NASA? And you go, NASA. <laughs> NASA. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Are you, am I, am I on a oh. bus right now? Oh. Take him out. <laughs> All right. They're going to get us with one of those magic bullets. <laughs> Dude, that the funny thing is that's what it really was. Yeah, I think about that sometimes. I'm like, wow, like my whole life I was like, wow, that's ridiculous. And then like one day I was like, well, actually I guess not. Maybe they did have a magic bullet. Yeah, that makes sense. Damn. Jordan McDonald's. Uh, uh. Wait, let's see. Stone. Stone says, "Cheers, uh, dabbing along with y'all guys. I just processed my go my grill, got some purple punch. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> Carly G says, "I'm the entire FBI. It's just one person, a Canadian. <laughs> a Canadian. Yeah, that's really yeah, nice." Jordan says, where are you guys going to be during South by Southwest? We're going to be uh, all over the place, but yeah. pretty much In Austin, we're going to be at the, the burger events. We're going to be at Wiener Mania all day. We're going to be, I like to keep it easy at South by where we don't have to run around all day. We just are at one all yeah. day thing, working at merch table all day. It's hard doing. So the, everybody who we got is seeking to find us there. Yeah. We find the easiest place to smoke weed away from the Texas cops. And oh my we God. just post up wherever we are that day. So uh, <laughs> we'll send you guys a, a full, a full, uh, Man, those cops are right. hanging we'll pretty loose in South yeah. by, huh? Yeah. Right. They're, like, they're just like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. I just got to make sure no one gets hit by a fucking car. You yeah. Know? I'm just texting him right now, Duffy, really quick. Your connection <laughs> shit is all fucked up. <laughs> you just hear him, like, hear him giggling and stuff. <laughs> Duffy. Yeah. Oh, my computer. It sounds crazy, bro. It's awesome. What? <laughs> <laughs> So, so, uh, a, I think your computer's fucked up. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not us. Is it us? Could it be us? No, we're fine. Everybody else here is fine. Everybody, everybody else says you're lagging. <coughs> Dubby? Are you okay, man? Maybe the, I think they got it. Maybe. I can't hear him. Uh, what? <laughs> he even says he's lagging, I think. So, says, you guys think if you have alien dreams that it has any connection to real aliens? I think so. Yeah, maybe. Some way, maybe telepathic. He says, maybe Sartorius. Carly says, yeah, they're implanted. Carly says, I'll see you guys there. I've already put in my time off for the whole week. Hell yeah, Jordan. Nice. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of people who, who report <laughs> having been abducted by extraterrestrials or whatever they've been abducted by, maybe they're not extraterrestrials, maybe they're terrestrials, but like, um, you know, those like m mole people or whatever. But, um, <laughs> but they, they, a lot of people have told stories about a process of telepathic um, communication. like communication and, and studying between and, you and the entity yeah and and, and it's like <laughs> oh i was abducted several times and they were teaching me these telepathic methods of communicating and reading and writing and um, and a few people have that story so i don't think it would be too far fetched that um, sometimes it's probably happened to more people than even realize yeah. yeah so that's yeah. And even going back to what we were saying earlier, um, the German fools were in contact with the ET race through a, a psychic medium. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. There you freaking go, man. It's all it's all tied in together. What if they started coming because we discovered LSD twenty five? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, whoa, you guys figured that out already? Or they started coming because of uh, McDonald's. Yeah. They're like, whoa, you guys figured that out already? <laughs> <laughs> Big snack sauce, dude, what is it? It took us 10 billion years to get to that level of entertainment meal. So Atari says, I've had too many alien dreams. Well, maybe 
You know? Maybe you're a Maybe. fucking alien. Maybe you've been uh, abducted. Yeah, this thing will be better for all the different types of screens and elements that we have then for audio stuff. Hell yeah. Um, Alright, we're trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong with Duffy. Um, Duffy maybe should just call in on, on his phone to a Google Voice number and what? we would sacrifice the, what? the video. That might be a more stable Duffy able to speak sort of situation. We need to troubleshoot his... Uh... <coughs> Human says, LSD summoned aliens. LOL. You watch a lot of alien shit? Hell yeah. Stone Soup says, in the 1950s, people were abducted by demons. Well, you, you guys know what Terrence McKenna talks about is how all of these things, every single last one of them, have been interdimensional extraterrestrials that you do literally summon by um, a process of... of Dimethyltryptamine or psilocybin. Yes. Fucking in, in You're back. Yeah, yeah uh, I had to turn my VPN on. I think somebody was actually fucking with my connection. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> my, guess is, my guess is that, yeah, your VPN would be on. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. You were getting glitched out there for sure. Wow. They were getting you. Who was that? I wonder. Yeah. Some half-ass wonder... motherfucker. Hell probably, yeah. Probably some cocaine. Some punk bitch. And pasting some shit off of I'll find him. I'm it looking was, now. It was McKinnon. Imagine. <laughs> fuck that. I ain't trying to fuck with him. All right, so apparently they've been fucking with Duffy's connection because his VPN was off. Yeah? Oh, he's gone again. Oh. Uh, I think they're, uh, they're getting him again. They're getting him again. That's just what we're gonna say anytime it goes. Nope, nope. Oh shit, the VPN disconnected for a second. I'm yeah, back. Okay. <laughs> it changed locations. That's amazing. We're good. That's kind That'll of, take them a minute. That's really weird and, and amazing. Hey, you know what I always thought about? Is what's the fucking point of there even being IP addresses if you can make yourself broadcast on a virtual private network? Yeah, what's They're the like, point? oh, exactly. well, we gotta make. What is the uh, point? They have to make billions of different IP addresses for all the fucking different little things. My VPN logs nothing. I can do whatever I want when I'm connected to it. Yeah. Anything. It, you know what I'm pretty sure is what happens every time uh, um, we we reset the modem, speaking of IP addresses, is that mm -hmm. it redistributes all the, the – because they changed the last decimal point yeah. for, for – um, Different, saved uh, IP addresses. So uh, the printer, the PlayStation, each of our phones, they just reset. And I think on the Apple devices, they set mm. specifically to one. And on Androids, it, it like it runs a range. Hmm. And when they redistribute, they don't go to the same number. Some bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Interesting. Um, that does... Charlie G says, "Have you guys heard of more more Jellin's disease? It's freaky." Johnny, yeah. Joni Mitchell has it, and if anyone has been abducted by aliens, it's Joni Mitchell. <laughs> Yep. It looks like one. What is it? What's the deal with this disease? Oh, man. It's this crazy ass, like, people grow, like, thread out of their fucking skin, dude. They don't know what the hell causes it. What? More yeah. islands. Like, more synthetic islands. fibers grow in, like, strands of hair out of their bodies. It's crazy. I've never heard of that. Yeah, no, look it up. It's nuts. Mergellan first showed up in the uh, King Arthur uh, series. Yeah, and then Morgellon um, was the first to circumnavigate the globe. <laughs> Killed in the Philippines, mind you. Fuck. Fuck your colonization bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, done with that. Probably just, yeah, like neon fibers just come out of their skin. You're done with colonization, Duffy? <laughs> <laughs> that shit's crazy. Duffy's uh, just snacking his life away right now, dude. He's got, like, soda pop and pizza and just, like... Good. I haven't eaten all week. Oh no. shit, Bob, don't grab a spider. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I eat like this every day, like three times. Spider Man doesn't have more gelins, though. He he has created canisters of web. And I guess in the new universe, cinematic universe, it's all because of Tony Stark. I got a tape on yeah, Bullshit because he designed that. Peter Parker designed that, right? Yeah, but it's pretty cool to think Tony yeah. Stark like came in, he's like a 14 year old kid, and is like, I'm gonna, like, I got, this, I got this crazy suit. Yeah, yeah. I got you, bro. And uh, yeah, like, Spider Man as an Iron Man protege is pretty cool. Yeah. Because Tony Stark's pretty cool. Yeah. The old canon is, eh, is still cool. You're kind of a jerk. You can think about whatever you want. Yeah, Tony Stark's a jerk. The new Spider Man. <laughs> I like this. Who's new Spider Man? Uh, I don't remember his name, but he's good. He's young. 
It was good, though? Yeah, I, I was pretty impressed. Yeah. I went okay. into it with pretty low expectations. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. But yeah, Whoa. um... What was the Avengers movie? <laughs> I saw him in that. He oh, yeah, Civil War. He was pretty good in that. Um, not new, yeah, but... I didn't even see huh. Civil War. But I knew Spider-Man was in it, and they talked about the part that he was in in the Spider-Man Homecoming. But yeah, so I haven't really cool. gotten into the Marvel movies at all yet. Michael Keaton is uh, the Vulture, pretty much, even though he never says his name. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, pretty good. Cool. Yeah, Michael Keaton's the bad guy in the new Spider-Man. Um, Did they not get the rights of the Vulture? Um, maybe not. They never said his name, but he flew around with like his own made his own wings, and he had like this energy weapon. Yeah, basically, it was cool because, like, Michael Keaton's character is in the very beginning, he's, like, the head of the, cons the like, contractors who are, who are taking apart the destruction of the Avengers building, um, and they have that alien shit that's there because of Age of Ultron or whatever, um, I haven't seen really any of that shit, but, um, but, so then, S.H.I.E.L.D. comes in and is, like, we're taking over this shit, and he's like, what? I've already paid my men, like, you're gonna, like, ruin these men's jobs. So he's like the, he's like a lit, like, like the, like, labor guy who gets fucked over by this big government operation. So he steals some of their technology, he steals some of the stuff that he already has, and he figures it out that it's alien technology that he can use to do all sorts of crazy shit. And so he does. Cuts to, like, four years, and he's like, he's like, runs a gang, and he's all badass, and he can, like, he can, like, make walls disappear and shit with his, like, alien technology. There you go. So there you go. That kind of ties that, into this. That 100% uh, ties into uh, the but topic guess today. what? Spider-Man kicks real. ass. Yeah. Spider-Man does sing like that. <laughs> yeah, he and does. And it turns out that the, the, the dark-skinned girl that Spider-Man has a really cute romance with, it's her stepdad. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Damn. Where we get out of there? Hate Poor kid can't and so win. He gets into a, so a situation where he has to, yeah, he has to like kick his fucking his girlfriend's dad's ass. That sucks. And it's his, terrible. His homie finds out that he's Spider Man, and he's like this big fat like Glay Ocean looking guy, and he's like, I just want to be your man in the chair, and it's like, and he's like, come on, hey dude, like he's like his his like game fat <coughs> gamer like like computer homie, and he's like. Dude, and like at school, he's like, oh, can you jump in there? Or like, he's <laughs> like a telephone. <laughs> but then in the end, he totally gets to nice. do it. He gets to like control some shit at the computer so he hacks in. And he's got Spider-Man like on the piece and he's all like, he gets Spider-Man's guy in the chair. Whoa. Yeah. Yes, I'll just, yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you touch my moon mole, I'll kill you. It's really good. Very good. Nice, good one, ouches. If you guys look that up, uh, out your suggestion, it is a uh, clip from Dr. Phil of a woman uh, showing her shoulder and showing a mole and saying, if you, if you so much as touch my moon mole, <coughs> I'll beep, kill you. Damn. So my Dr. Phil or just whatever. Uh, now listen to me. Sartorius says, Spider-Man is cool. Was him for Halloween as a kid? Who's oh. him? <laughs> him from, uh, from Wonder I don't understand. Him. Him was the guy. <laughs> him did it. Him did it. <laughs> him, him was the guy. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Wander Chosen. So yeah, what do you think about about um, alien machinations of your own divine uh, summoning coming to you joyously in uh, dimethyltryptamine or psilocybin what? trips? That's Shelley Duvall. What? <laughs> That's no fucking way. crazy. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, it is. Shelley Duvall is on some crazy shit. Oh no. She's really sh sad. She was. A wonderful, wonderful woman. Yeah. She seems in a really good <coughs> But yeah, she, mm. I didn't even see it. She, she says, don't touch her, my moon wall. Yeah. Here, I can't really hear it, but my, my computer and speakers are a piece of shit, like most of the things on this computer. So here, you, but you'll, be able, you'll be able to get the gist. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's Shelly Duvall, baby. Wow, yeah, she'll kill you. So I Taurus said, I thought I saw shadow aliens on acid once. There yeah, you, you probably did. Yeah. You probably did. That's the yep. thing. That's how that all works out. You probably saw it, you too. How, okay. I definitely, I definitely see all sorts of beings every time oh, yeah. I'm under the influence of that DMT. 
That is fact. <coughs> Sometimes they're like, like, dude, this world is the dream, man. Yeah, it's a trip. The details of the like. This is the dream world. No, life's the illusion. Love is the dream. Yeah. Life's the illusion. Oh. Love is the dream. <laughs> Are you the key master? I learned that from a Buzzcock song when I was young. <laughs> Everybody's happy Almost. You know what? I think there's so many levels of truth versus deception. Oh yeah, it's the dude's dick. Um, <laughs> in this whole game, it's like, how, how far up can you go? It's like there's probably agencies who are communicating with I I extraterrestrial, like, fucking <coughs> generals and stuff. And they're like, yep. they're like, talking to them, and they don't even know the whole time that the wool's being drawn over their eyes, and that shit's fake. Yeah. And it's and it's like some higher up agency than that yeah. is fucking doing them doing them like that. And no, it's all just love. I bet it goes like that, like that forever. <laughs> yeah. It's all love, it man. goes all the way back around until you start fi and st until you're a particle of matter deciding whether or not it should uh, it should make um, conscious this life. so good though. It's like hey, you know, never mind. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> this. On second thought. Uh, uh, Sartora said he wants to get some DMT soon. Leo and Venice says, I hovered, yeah. over, I hovered over my body once while I was sleeping. I ate a lot of mushrooms. Floating around the room while my... Oh, shit. Floating around the room while my oh, body was, was just Whoa, laying man. there. Sartora says, I want to see what is really behind the mask of life. Human Seven with says, oh, happy Fat Tuesday to y'all. Oh, it's Fat Tuesday. Oh, there you go. Uh, as Venice says, Jaguars and DMT. Google it. It's real. Yeah. <coughs> Do they smoke it out of pipes? They probably chew on some shit. Yeah, and they probably lay out and they look at the stars. And they're like, I want to eat meat. Oh, yeah. They're like, it's like like the stars like just drawing all these like crazy looking like prey for, like in front of them. They're like, whoa, yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. Go run her door, delicious. Delicious. Your hair gets cool. Yeah, her mohawk, weird like yeah. her mohawk. It's like a weird like. Fuck like, you. Weird like cyberpunk haircut. No, no, no. No, no, no. Well, yeah, yes. so, um, where did we leave off on the Secret Space Pro SSP? Not to be confused um, with SSI. Oh, Chun, Chun Lee kicking my ass. Oh, no, um, <laughs> Secret Street Fighter program going on. Yep. Right, I guess you fight it for a switch. <laughs> Liam, I'm gonna need a mushrooms. Yeah, I'm gonna need the mushrooms too, dude. <laughs> I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need a little more. Dude, mushrooms. I have the best shrooms I've ever had. They're these weird Cubenzies, this dude from like the Deep Web group. Nice. And uh, they're like short and like like chubby instead of like long and skinny. Nice. Those are cool, yeah. They're really nuts, man. And like I ate like a little bit of them. We fed some to like this 80 year old German man that we know. <laughs> um, we all like tripped out and like. Like White Sands, New Mexico. It was fucking crazy. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to trip with some 80 year old man. And like a bunch of uh, right. Polish kids. Unless you started like, freaking out, that would suck. Yeah. I smoked opium with like an 80 year old man. Oh yeah. Ty. He was 70 something. My homie. Uh, Rebake says, I'm so full of spaghetti. Biscotti. I like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to eat some spaghetti right now. That sounds good as fuck to me. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna need a spoon. Oh, we're talking about me on, uh, on Sunday. Maybe Isaac might make a chicken salad sandwiches. Keep it. <laughs> Grapes and walnuts and celery. And... Yeah, no need to worry about explosions on that show. <laughs> 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 we should just start like just pointing a camera outside. Put your mic out there. Yeah. You can do that. And grill outside. It'd be yeah. Cool. We can do it. Hell yeah. Yeah, maybe I could do it. Do you grill inside. Shit. Dwango Poot says, damn, y'all is live. What up? What it sounds like Big Cat's been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, Dwango? Twartor says, need some shrooms, too. Yeah, I would love to have some shrooms on deck. Just for, like, the nights when I'm chilling. I have to eat, like, one shroom. It really just you should eat up. shrooms tonight, man. make any night just, like, really good. Uh, I got shrooms. <laughs> I gotta find them, though. <laughs> nice, dude. Hell yeah. yeah. a little bit of everything over there, huh? Human says, oh, explosion. Oh, yeah. Uh, Stone, e See, Stone Soup says, what's E.T. short for? Because he's got little legs. <laughs> That's why he's short. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I've been thinking about trying DMT. You should definitely try it a few times. Yes. Yes. Carly G says, Dwangle. Timmy says, Dwangle in the Yappery. 
Uh, you should do it with uh, either by yourself if you feel like you're up to the punch. It's not that big of a deal. It's, only not, it's not very long at all. So you could just sit in your bed and do it. Uh, and uh, you, you would probably just stay sitting there. Yeah. And but before you know well, it, certainly. you just the only thing is if you got like really good DMT, you want somebody to grab the ball for you, because you might drop it. You might not too though, but you might want to. You must, like the really, really, really strong DMT, you'll drop the ball for sure, and you need somebody to catch it. You won't have time to put it on the table, because you want to hold it in like really, really long, as long as you can, pretty much, and then let it out. And then by the time you let it out, you, you it, yeah, sometimes you'll drop the ball. Uh, but you can also get Changa, which is pretty, uh, a little cheaper and more common, uh, which is basically like a DMT derivative, uh, with some kind of A, without some, it's something to do with the MAOI thing. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, careful, careful. No, yeah, my friend Kevin, man. He, of course it was Kevin. He's on Adderall. No, but this show is tight, and uh, it's the guy, this uh, chemist we know had it. And uh, and I've had it a few times, and it's great. You can uh, you can smoke a little bit, or you can smoke a lot, and you'll go way out there. Yeah, we I mean we smoked like three hundred euro worth that that one night for free. Said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three hundred euros worth. Oh, the Chenga? Yeah. Yeah, we me and Jimmy had some of that here like last last winter. Nice, dude. Yeah, I got it from another dude on the deep web. Yeah, it's just a it was big nice. Big. You smoke a bunch of it, you get there, but you could just coast on it and keep like this weird high. Yeah. That's exactly yeah, how we it smoke it in the park. No, the nice. First, yeah, that shit's time. crazy. The first time, I smoked it like five times. Dude, I, I grew like Benestaprius cappy and the like mimosa sleeping trees. Go to sleep at night, it's really crazy. They like curl up and like yeah. go to sleep. Yeah, I've had like mega trips on the plants for sure. <laughs> like, ha ha, welcome. Leo, uh, ben and Venice says, is there any good acid in LA? Yeah, some of the best acid. Oh, in LA. yeah. For sure. I know some people get some crazy, crazy shit. Um, uh, Carly says, I want to do ayahuasca. I, I would be done. Yes, that's what those two things are. You mix the, yeah. the mimosa and the, and the cappy vine, and yeah, it's the harming yeah. in okay. the cappy vine yeah. that makes the, the MAOI inhibitor activation, and you just trip the fuck out. For days. Out just on Doom says, Quincy Jones says, Stevie Wonder can see and has been fooling everyone for his whole yep. career. There's even videos of Stevie taking pictures of Michael Jackson shit. Yeah, I've, I've been saying this for years. Yeah, me too. Bob's yep. grandma says, oh, yep. we should trip out and do a marathon of Mel Gibson movies. He watches basketball okay. games. Stevie Wonder goes to basketball games. I can't watch movies on acid very well. I'll, I get too restless. I want to wander around and shit. Drago says, have you guys ever tested your drugs? I swear, when I do coke once a year, it's that. Oh, yeah. there's probably a little bit of that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if we probably come back positive for meth in almost every situation, I guess. Sartor says you automatically. Yeah. Sartor says you automatically go into another world on DMT. No, I mean not. Not I mean. It's not yeah, automatically. It also depends how strong your hit is. And yeah, that's like, the thing is that there's you. Can it ramps be, up quickly, but it's yeah. not like boom. Do you have your psychic dimensional like balance? Can there's you stay in one in one place? Do you know how to do that? Yeah, there's a lot of different types of DMT. <laughs> it's all one. It's all D diamethyltryptamine. That is the psychoactive component um but you know if you smoke like some of that plastic dmt that's like pretty much all dmt and i guess like i don't know delta or something and that's uh, supposed to be crazy and it's fucking insane and yeah i was i definitely broke on through to some other side i'll say that much um but you get the like really subtle versions of that shit when you're when you take a little bit of it over extended periods of time and that's a whole different trip where you see the fucking it's not like a whole nother world but you're seeing the like the fucking rigged up the like, puppet clothes. strings yeah, yeah exactly and like, <laughs> like the like the topography of like the human face and it's like it's great. yeah yeah the puppet strings man There's that one always drives me nuts you can see like the guy's hand up the puppet's ass <laughs> I want to go back to the playstation that has PT on it yeah and play that shit and be like this is the scariest game for on, sure on DMT well, no, on DMT, I don't know if I'd be like able to play like anything. Like a fucking trip for sure. It's like an acid trip. Drangle says, everyone watched Enter the Void. Watching that movie is enough of a trip. Oh, yeah, me. that movie's fucking weird. He wants to fuck his sister so hard. That movie's, I haven't seen it. I've heard crazy things about it for sure. Yeah, I've heard some crazy things about it as well. <laughs> now, he like, has it bad for his sister. It's a fucked up movie. It's like 4chan the musical. Human says, yeah, Enter the Void is cool. So says, damn. But says, says, my friend did DMT, but he couldn't, so, he couldn't, so, like, the full three hits. He couldn't do, like, the full three hits. 
and he said the room was on fire and everything was Play-Doh, oh I want to do God. DMT. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> so Tori says, which game? The game called LSD? That's definitely a game. Uh, that game was crazy. I played the LSD game. Before. Life is really just like Roy and fucking <laughs> Rick and Morty. <laughs> Roy the game. Oh, yeah, totally. I think about that all the time. Sartorius, we were talking about <laughs> PT, the secret playable teaser for Silent Hills, the scrapped Konami, Hideo Kojima, and Guillermo del Toro. Um, and Silent Hills teaser, project. yeah. But it was a playable teaser that was like, wasn't, it was set PT's up as a big, playable big, teaser. Yeah, yeah, as a big reveal, and they did a fake, like, new uh, um, company for it. You got 19 and, uh, watching, 16 likes. Very good. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. And they canceled the project, so they got rid of PT. But some PlayStation still have it on there. You can get like a PlayStation that has it, but you can't get it anymore. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, the the project was canceled, but they sell PlayStations with a copy on there. It's funny. Yeah. Um, uh, start this. Oh, right, with Norman Reedus. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Seventeen likes. Thanks for the extra like. Whoever did that, that's cool of you. Also, so you know, we talked about it a few times. Sorry to everybody else who's heard me say it like four times. But it's cool, it's exciting, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, it's already Valentine's Day for a lot of y'all right now, uh, and uh, we're releasing the memory, we released the Memories new album uh, in La La Land uh, on our band camp for free, you can Absolutely get it right free. now, it's totally free, uh, so people have already, a lot of people have already downloaded it, and uh, you can also pre-order the cassette, we also have uh, the new pre-orders for the Eeks second album, Eeks from Paraguay, South America, uh, and uh, um, um, uh, White Fang. Uh, uh, our band White Fang. <clears throat> so yeah, they can go to the website and check all that shit out. Thank you for listening to my spiel again. Anyway, back to the program. Very good. Um, I'm wondering, like, if we get back into the the SSP, are they gonna cut Duffy's VPN? That's exactly what's gonna happen. The moment I start talking about it. Oh shit! So Jordan says that like Bob Dylan says I still have it, but it won't let me finish it anymore. It's weird. Oh. Well, maybe I heard it's crazy. Oh, you just probably knew how to finish. But I heard it, it plays different every time. But Duffy Ron Go, Ron Go, no, Duffy says, yeah. <laughs> Human says, the Death Stranding looks, uh, that Death Stranding is looking dope, too. I can't wait for that yeah, fucking that looks game. crazy. Duffy Ron, uh, Duffy, God damn it. I keep forgetting he's on there. Uh, he's on there. Whoa. Bree says, happy Valentine's Day yep. to all you cuties. You too, Bree Bake. Up in, uh, up in uh, British Columbia in the, the lower southwest corner of Canada. Canada. So oh, Canada is cool. She's from the south <laughs> of Canada. Bring back from the south. Canadian. So, a breakaway civilization under black. That's the Canadians. Lights. They. What do you think? Hundred, two hundred thousand people. I don't know. It could be pretty big, man. I mean, it could be bigger than our population. Maybe we're the minority. The biggest yeah. car factory in the world is in Germany for Volkswagen, and they have sixty thousand people working at the factory. Yeah. So I imagine it could be a, quite a, a lot more, yeah. potentially, you know. That's yep. 100,000. 100,000, yeah, it could be a million people. Yeah. Maybe it could be a lot less. Maybe it could be 10,000 people. Maybe it could be 100 people. I don't know. Who knows? 100 people could be. And if yeah, it could be more. Well, there's so many different angles. Yes. What, what <clears throat> alien overlords are are conducting these communications and briefings yeah i don't know who's doing what you hear who's things the tall whites or the yeah. I think you know nordics everyone, everyone's in cahoots man everyone it, it's like just part of being part of like the federation galactic federation mm -hmm. you got yo probably out. you got to talk to the anunnaki and us and like the greys you got to pay the toll man if you're going to be part of the crew or whatever you know it's like uh yeah the reptilians and the mantis people and like maybe maybe yeah we're just the slave race. reptoids mantoids yeah yeah one of these uh 20 and back guys has like reoccurring dreams where he's in on the base on the asteroid and like a lot of the people are german and a lot of people are wearing like nazi oh, symbols yeah. on their uniforms and there's reptilians and different different types of uh aliens and stuff like that and um you know and so if there was something up there on one of those bases i'm sure it would be it would be a hub, you know? It's yeah. kind of a space hub for yeah. everyone that's part of this oh, yeah. coalition or whatever. Definitely. Something out there. But yeah, apparently, you know, they have bases on uh, one of the moons of, of uh, Saturn. There's, yep. There's a base 
Titan. Um, yep, yeah, and there's a base on one of the uh, <clears throat> asteroids between um, Jupiter and Saturn. Cirrus. Cirrus, exactly. And it's apparently built into um, such a position where the light never reaches it, so no satellites could um, see it. And, ever. And, um, ever. And um, so they're, they're, you know, allegedly, that's the name of the sh this show should be called Allegedly. Yeah. Um, allegedly, allegedly uh, there's a base up there. Next on Allegedly. I hear tell. <laughs> Word around the campfire. They got a base up there. Well, I think it's it's very possible. Yeah. And I think that they could even just have some sort base of up there. pulse field emitters up there that just that just create a link between dark the, side of the moon. Yeah, whatever there whatever they don't have to go is, very far. reality is and ours can can be probably um, uh, uh, manipulated by time space. And Have you guys ever seen the blue light on the moon? No. I've seen it three different times in my life. There's this blue light. What? And sometimes they turn it on. I'm serious. Watch. <laughs> just keep looking. You'll see it one day. You'll be like, that son of a bitch. I can't. He was right. I can't. What does it look like? A little light? It's like a little light up in like the top left part portion of it. Yeah, okay. Top left. Like, like a plane blue light. or something? Look it up. You'll see it. It's blue. blue light. So it looks like a big, moon. glowing blue fucking blue like diamond or something. It's nuts. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look it up right now. Blue light, blue light on the moon. On the... Could it possibly you can't be... find anything on it, man. Could it possibly be like a base? You can't. I don't find know, man. On it, huh? You've just seen it. It could be part of it. I heard it's part of the the nuclear facility up there. Yeah, a fusion reactor. It says maybe. Yep, that's what I've heard. I've seen it. The blue light on the moon. Literally, I've tried to take pictures of it, but I can't with my phone. I can't get it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, two times out of the three. But the first time I saw it, I was like a kid at like, sleepaway camp. I was like, that's weird. What's that blue light on the moon? <laughs> Nobody else knew what I was talking about, like, ever. I yeah. Like, you ever I think that? I've actually heard of that before now that you mention it. And uh, we have 18 likes. Now, thank you. Whoever just added another like, that is very dope. Appreciate that. Very dope. Blue light. Somebody left the blue light on again. <laughs> uh, so Tara says, I, I thought I've seen something on the moon. No blue light yet, but I'm going to try to see it. BDG says, forest moon of Endor. Uh, Dragon says, can't find anything on it, man. <laughs> I, no. I, I, it's on there. Yeah. Rebake says, it, it's just me on the moon spreading my cheeks. Yeah. So your asshole is a, a blue. Uh, yep. A blue pro projecting light. Leo and Venice is perfect. Time, Thanks man. for adjusting audio. Of course, Leo and Venice. So what's up, guys out there? We got uh, 1047. We still have a little over an hour left in the stream. This thing was in my eye. What is that little thing? Is it FBI? Yeah. Tracking device? No, no, don't be fucking with us. Oh, 19 likes. Yeah, Very actually, good. on that 20 and back thing I listened to... Um, now that's, that's the craziest, craziest shit I've ever heard. Totally one of the guys, thing. one of the guys claimed that he found like a spherical, like the size of a BB. It was like covered in some sort of like, uh, you know, alloy. He didn't know, and he threw it away because he thought it was a uh, tracking tracking device. Huh. Well, that probably was. was. I mean, and everything's trackable though. though. You could probably, probably track, track your feelings, feelings if you wanted to. to. Yeah. Uh, but like, I don't know, man. There's some like. Some really, really, really creepy, creepy sadistic, sadistic shit going on, man. Well, like, like, I, I hear there's, there's like, like slavery. Like, like they're, they're selling, selling people off and as like slaves to like. I hear they fucking take personalities like celebrities, and before they get really big, they just clone them. I got or get a, a reptilian doppelganger to shapeshift, and then they put like <laughs> like the real Jack White and the real Beyonce are on uh, a, for the, the moon prison right now. Yeah. No. <laughs> and that and that the Beyonce and Jack White that are on TV all the time are actually reptilian shapeshifters. Playing the role. That was fast. Probably. That's why I've heard that a million yeah. times. Bob Dylan's grandma says, Every day I look in the mirror and I feel like I never look the same. Is it just me? Um, BDG, you're 17, almost 18. You're going to look different in the mirror every day for the rest of your life. It's true. And especially when you're that young. It's going to keep changing for a long time. Uh, so Jordan says, My cat had a weird connection to aliens and I saw a lot of blue lights when he died. Well, that's crazy, Sartorius. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Dragon Pooch says, what all your singles finish do on Valentine's Day? Chocolate Fest for me, hella deals the day of. 
Uh, nice. We're doing Dark Tapes Night Live. That's yeah. what I'm doing on Valentine's Day. So. Yeah, we should get some chocolate. Yeah, we should get a gang of chocolate. chocolate. Or we're doing, chocolate. it's going to be, tomorrow's going to be Ye old Dark Tapes Night Live. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Yeah. So we'll go to the chocolatier. Yeah, and it's going to be Ye old Dark Tapes <laughs> Night Live. With Ahoy! Some with Have great some chocolates with me, lads. So tomorrow's going to be a, a, a Ye old. No- Whoa. Give me the thing. Was that the blue light? Yeah, it was I heard it. Um. Uh. Alex says, Pizzagate is real. That is ridiculous. Leo and Dennis says, does Duffy think Scientology has any truth to it? Yeah, what do you think, Duffy? Is Scientology true? No. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you. Sartor says, yeah, I've always had feelings that Beyonce was a reptilian. Human713 says, I posted some of those patches in the Discord. Check them out. Kind of spooky. Not sure what they are really for. Uh, LOL. Rebake says, all times they shouldn't be just about couples. Uh, spread love to all your pals, too. Hell yeah, uh, Rebake. Carly G says, bubble baths, VHS, and chocolate time, bitch, and GTG, and yourself. That's tight. Yeah, make yeah. sure everybody to masturbate on Wednesday, tomorrow, and for Valentine's Day. Have a little self-care your session. Yeah, your val- oh, yeah. You're, you're your own Valentine every single day. Uh, it's a little Valentine self-love. You know, Britney Spears song, Touch My Hand? Yeah. It's a uh, really, really, really good song about uh, masturbation. Strangle Pooch says, true no, girlfriend of the dog going to get hella love tomorrow. Yeah, girlfriend going to get some treats and stuff. I'm trying to fatten her up. She's too skinny. I feel bad. Aww. She needs more food. She needs. Hey, fat fat dog. Yeah, but I just got to try to get her more food. Fatten you up. Yeah. Uh, so, Tora says, Jay-Z is like a human Lucifer. No, no. Yeah, yeah may- and maybe, man. You never know. Double Lucifer's pretty cool, cool, though. though. Yeah. My, My favorite, favorite is the Demiurge. Demiurge. JC, Jay-Z is definitely pretty cool. The Demiurge, the Demiurge is who made our world. What's that? Oh, oh man. man, okay. okay. So, so the Demiurge, Demiurge is apparently, apparently guilty of uh, uh, taking the, the the goddess, goddess uh, Sophia, Sophia and, uh, and uh, tricking, uh, tricking her into leaving <laughs> paradise and uh, uh, trapping her in a world, world of fake, a fake, fake world, world, like a matrix. matrix. And, and uh, that's, that's the world, world we live in. in. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're all, all the creation, creation then, of her. She, she gave, gave way to some thing called the Archons. archons. And the, the archons, archons are, like, these bad, like, spiritual, like, like parasites, parasites that, that, like, thrive off the, like, suffering and, and, and shit of, of humans. And keeping us trapped in this world of matter, away from all things holy and spiritual. And so God... Is really, really like, like the, the evil, evil force, force. and the, the big, big head evil, evil archon, archon is the demiurge. Uh, and the, the demiurge, demiurge is the creator of our reality, he's Jehovah. Uh, you know, but he's yeah. evil. No, well, and that's, that's a, a, it's like an, an old Gnostic, Gnostic religion. religion. Yeah. yeah. Look, Look up, up Sophia and the archons, archons if you want a trip. trip. It's, it's fucked up. Yeah, she like leaves paradise, and so like, we're like divinity, you know, like we're like. The, the true, true creator, creator of the universe. universe. But, but we're, we're like not, not aware, aware of that. that. We're, we're just like kind of off dreaming and off tripping and like trapped in this world of matter by, by, by the, the evil Lord. Lord. You know? Yeah. Right? That sucks. Yeah. yeah. yeah God, God is an asshole. asshole. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that makes sense. Rebix says, give her some French fries. I do. Kaji says, or maybe he's a human angel. Uh, Jay Z, yeah. yeah. George says, yeah, I feel you, Duffy. I've looked into that stuff. Freebake says, I'm off to Snooze Town. Good night, Freebake. Bri- Leo says, that sounds like some Scientology shit. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Drinkle says, one day, Logan Paul... It's ancient. Drinkle says, one day, Logan Paul will be the first man to fully revive a dead human being. You heard it here first. Yeah. Uh, night, Bree. Uh, he says as well, Bobby says, Jay-Z has funny legs. <laughs> They're really thin, yes. Freebake says, good night, everyone. Good night, Bree. Really good. good night, Bree. Good night. All right, oh, guys. Man. So, who already get their uh, pre-orders? We already put the orders in for the tapes, so we're actually going to be having those probably in about two weeks. So, but, uh, you know, you got you got time to get them. Yeah. Oh. Um, go to the website, nartapes.com. Put in that pre-order for the new Nart. tapes. Yeah. Help us out. Get some tapes for yourself. Listen to it on Valentine's Day right now on nartapes.com. Uh, there's a uh, link as well uh, on the website from the product page of the cassette to link you to the free band camp as well. Check out the band camp. It's brand new memories. Get hungry. You're getting hungry? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. 
We gotta be more like Ice Poseidon. Hell no. And uh, what, what does he like? Punches. He's like, oh. He talks like this all the time. Yeah. Like, oh. Hey. <laughs> no, he's he's the cooler one of all those yeah. weird people. They're all weird about this. Leo says, has anyone heard of people teleporting inside the Egyptian pyramids? For yes. Sure, right? yeah. Stargate SG-1 is my, my favorite show. show. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> is your favorite show? Oh, oh yeah, God, I love I'm that right. shit. Is that, the, is that the one you wrote the uh, the uh, fan fiction for? Uh, no, I know, I just voiced uh, uh, there is, oh, yeah, your voice a trailer actor. for... Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah it was like a German, German fan film, and I, I, I did the, the all the audio, audio on the trailer. trailer. Like, like in English, English. the That's English dub of the, the trailer, trailer, I did it all. That's sick. Yeah. That I did like every character, character except for the girl, girl that was like my ex girlfriend. Is that on YouTube? Name I dare not speak it. What were you like uh, in, a, in a Stargate fan forum or something? Yeah, 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 yeah I'm, I'm still, still on the ball. Or yeah, I'm like mad into that. That shit was tight. They're bringing it back. They just made a new one. I haven't seen it yet. I heard it sucks. I'm scared. I believe it sucks. Not because you know, I never, I never, I never watched, watched an episode, episode of fucking Enterprise, Enterprise ever, because I could not get past, past the theme song. song. Yeah, that that theme I, song I, was, it was really not weird. possible, man. I watched it a few nights after The Simpsons or whatever, and it was all right. I couldn't, I couldn't get, get through, through that, that that song. I just I turned, turned it every, every time, time I tried, and I was like, oh, that's right, right no. I watched this one where they went back in time, and the Vulcan lady like invented Velcro. And made like oh, a bunch that's... of money, and like, that's like how she got. They got out of the problem was they totally like changed the like history oh. history of, of of Earth. Yeah, I was like, damn, Star Trek did. They went there. Like, yeah, we're on this time. I think that's, that's like, like what happened, happened to everything, everything, and that's, that's why, why the world, world just kind of like sucks. sucks. <laughs> yeah, some people just, people are just walking around. Yeah, maybe. I don't think time travel is an impossibility <laughs> under under the correct circumstances. I guess. I, 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 I believe, believe it's, it's probably, probably happening all the time. time. Yeah. I, I, I jumped, jumped from, from another, another dimension, dimension into, into, into this, this one once. Yeah. That's how I got here. Yeah, it's like when you... It's like that dude who was, like, modding and and playing Mario 64 all weird, and he figured out all the, like, the planes of, of reality that he could, like, jump in and out of because of how, like, the grid multiplied certain ways. And it was like, damn, that's what reality is actually like. Yeah. Time Bro, can, like, can you really do that? that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe if you're like Ice Poseidon. I mean, I, I did, did it once, once but I was on like, a lot of acid. acid. And, and it was 9 11. <laughs> on 9 11, I was on a lot of acid, acid. and I, I, I crossed into another dimension v in New York. V 9 11? I crossed into one of the. Yeah, yeah, V 9 11. I crossed over into, um, in New York, too. One of the old Montauk dimensions. That's what this is. Oh, shit. This, this is, is one of the, the, the evil, evil Montauk, Montauk dimensions. dimensions. Talk to yeah. me. <laughs> but I'm from, from Long Island, Island so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <clears throat> that's some crazy ass shit, too. What kind of parent? Dude, even crazier, crazier my, my, my friend who died, died, like, recently, recently he, he, like, he was there. He did it with us. us. He, he saw the portal, portal too. It was like sliders. sliders. And we yeah, all like went through it. it. We were like, is this a good idea? And then like planes hit the World Trade Center. Center. We were like, whoops. Oh, damn, Duffy. Damn, what, did you do? oh, you... what did you do? Damn. No wonder they're trying <laughs> to know. figure your ass out. Uh, we're he stuck here. here. He died, though. He was, he was like, like trying to find, find the way back. back. And I was like, there's no way back, dude. Cuban said Enterprise wasn't bad. Uh, I couldn't get past the theme song. Every time I tried to watch it, I wish they made it without that. If somebody took that out, I can watch <laughs> They should make a movie. No one, this is not a good idea, but they, I wish someone would make a movie where, where they go back in time and stop 9 11. Oh, man. Yeah. It's like, Yo, why don't you just do that for fun? Yeah. Damn. It's like, like, not today, sir. And like, stop people from getting on the plane. I'm like, no, they're going to do it. Like, <laughs> That's pretty good. I wonder what we would have to do to stop 9 11. There'd be so many different ways we could try to stop 9 11. One is like prevent Bush from winning. Yeah. Like, what else do you think could do it? If you um, uh, told everyone to leave and, and blew up the World Trade Center while they were gone. There you go. Oh, true. Right. Get out of here! Oh. 
Hey, real hey, quick, please. Bin Laden and Al Qaeda are bombing the World Trade Center. That would be so, so fucked, fucked up. up. Sartora says the outer lim uh, the outer limits intro is sick. I remember that being pretty. Yeah. Good. Ouches. Von Doom says. Hefner's MK Ultra sex slave blackmail film production has been exposed due to documents from John Podesta emails show Wonderland auction what? tickets for sale. I'm only telling truths tonight. Underground tunnels beneath Playboy Mansion. You really think Corey Feldman, Michael Jackson, other celebrities, uh, politicians do not know about this? Pizzagate is real. Sartorius says uh, Montauk is a crazy place to be from, and he believes it. Mm -hmm. Bob Dylan's grandma says Duffy did 9-11 Carly yeah. agrees uh, And Sartara says That's actually a good idea Fuck we'll make that So many people Here died. we go uh, Human says Bill and Ted's ridiculous 9-11 adventure <laughs> that was my, my dad, dad lived, lived with, with uh, Osama bin Laden for six years Damn you can't say that In Saudi Arabia He did, he did. <laughs> So he's real Yeah He's real Yeah, yeah, yeah Carly he had you cocaine, cocaine. That's tight. Uh, that makes sense. He liked you. He liked you cocaine. cocaine. He was wild. And he he liked the party, huh? He took meds. Uh, Me and my, my grandma, grandma take meds. <laughs> Al just von Dune says Hefner was blackmailing up and coming stars before the, they got big, using underage girls and boys to do it. I'm not surprised. There's always yep. something fishy there with, with that bull, you know. I heard, I heard there's, there's way, way worse going on, on though, like, like, like the, 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 the like slavery tip with like, with, like the, the secret space program, program. like just like, kidnapping like, like children and selling them off to like, you know, yeah, yeah, like, well, fuck toys, toys and like, like Mars. Mars. Those, those people, someone such as Hugh Hefner might be pretty close to something like a, super, a secret space program. So that, this, mm -hmm. that, that could be highly relevant to this <laughs> topic of conversation. True. It's true. true. It's true. It's true. true. <laughs> oh man, half half in cahoots. I bet he, he probably is, is like half alien. alien. Settle down, Cusack. <laughs> Have a seat. Drink your drink your orange juice. Have some of this orange juice. Have you ever thought of having sex with a human earthling? I can make that happen. So, <laughs> Gross. Yeah. We oh, should try to like get into the secret space program, like for real. I'd like to join it. I would gladly mislead the American people and more. Yeah, you heard it here first. Like you would work as a janitor or something on one of the bases. Oh hell yeah! I can do more than that, man. I'll give me some like mind control shit to do. I'd do that shit. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen though at the end of the movie. Though. My own MK Ultras and shit. You're gonna be part of the secret secret space program the whole time in the movie, and say so you're gonna be like, no, I'm making 9/11 happen. We're like we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so we yeah we have to we have to like blow your we have to we have to crash a plane into you. We <laughs> <laughs> have to crash two towers into him. Oh no. no. <laughs> oh whoa. Into his plane. No, we wouldn't like that movie. They would get really, really pissed. Yeah. <laughs> and for that reason, it could be it the could biggest be movie of pretty... all time. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. I... You know, those, those buildings were made to withstand nine plane crashes, yeah, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> if you really want to talk, that yeah. debris didn't hit the ground. There wasn't enough debris. Mm -mm. That was a directed energy weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's what that shit was. Directed energy. That, that shit turned to dust in the air. Yeah, I think so. There's no blown? seismic re record of it hitting. Are you Look it up, man. Were your eyes closed the whole time, Duffy? Not the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob Dylan's grandma says, what if you crash the towers into the plane? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, oh, it's like super epic. It's about to happen, but like, and you're like, sorry, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> <laughs> the tower, 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 the 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 her the trade plate, plate is, yeah. Slave trade is trade bad. Slave. Tra slave trade is bad. I was just saw Penfun, so a refugee in Haiti where kids have been disappearing. Whoa. Yep. Uh, 
Carly's using Madonna will save them. Bob Dylan's grabs the towers form a Megazord. Cool hat for you. The Megazord. Oh, damn. Megazord? Yeah, like. Me Megazord. Yeah, it's like Voltron. Yeah. Your eyes are closed again, Duffy. <laughs> Damn, that would be that'd be crazy. It's like dun, 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 dun. it's like a big like Voltron eagle and like <laughs> he's all what? sleepy from all that pizza and candy. He's at. it's weed. He's well, now I need more. Get some sugar. Get your blood sugars up. Yeah, I'm starting to pass out from low blood sugar. <laughs> I must have candy at all times. Just W says, uh, or wait. <laughs> Human says Madonna is the savior our world needs. Jess W says that one vid where stars and celebs go into a trance like states when they hear their trigger words. Whoa. I yeah. want to see that. Uh, so Tori says, are we being harvested? That is a highly high yeah. possibility. Uh, I'll just Yo, it's probably like that movie. They're switching bodies with us and giving like all kinds of like people our bodies and then they get to go be like young again. Yeah. We die. That's tight, though. Whatever. It's a circle of life. Alchus says, uh, Sean Penn also has CI connections. Why do you think he brought down El Chapo? Oh, yeah, that, that, uh, that story was always a little... Well, he, he went to go meet him. Uh, that was what it was, right? He went to go meet El Chapo. Human says, this just in. Madonna sells super heroin to children in AIDS needles. What? It's just fuck, LOL. What? Where'd you read that at? He put it in quotes. He, read, he was reading my blog. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Who, who knows what the hell's going on? There's, there's lots of secrets out there. Yes, there is. Or maybe there's none. I don't know. Why doesn't Sean Penn step the fuck back? I don't need Sean Penn running reality. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck are you? The Demiurge. Yeah. Telling you. I fucking saw Fast Times at Richmond High, bro. This is the evil place. I don't know. Sean Penn might be cool. Yeah, he's shit. Yeah. He looks like he smokes weed, but he looks super high strung, kind of. But I don't know. I don't know. How do we bring down these goddamn towers? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They were kind of asking for it. Yeah. They're like, here's the center of commerce right on the edge of the fucking ocean and it goes hella higher than anything else and it's like two of them like boom yeah. double middle finger yeah Sartora says which movie is that Duffy what are you that's so the lone gunman the lone gunman uh, it's that X-Files offshoot it was uh, the, the uh, pilot episode they predicted 9-11 oh yeah oh, yeah. yeah 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 that yeah. happened Lee My dad told me it was gonna happen when he was when I was a little kid. Yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot of audio of people knowing that it was gonna happen. I think that's pretty. They had photographs of it happening as yeah. far back as the seventies. Yeah, it's like pretty, new. pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, oh, look at that! What does that say? I don't know. Um, Alja okay. says, Alja says CIA use Sean Penn. As a passy, they didn't care if he got shot. Carly G says so many secrets. Carly G also says Nartapes is semi-famous, based in LA. It really makes you wonder what if Nartapes is working for Sean Penn? That's what they're Sean smoking Penn base. is working for Nartapes. Human says, "Whoa, Carly, breaking this conspiracy wide <laughs> open." Um, well, you know, you'll know once we're once we are touched by that fucking hand. Sartorius says, "It'll be a different uh, looking operation around here." What does it say? It says. White Fang Younger LP. Nice. Cool. Younger EP. Uh, Leo and Venus. Venice. Leo and Venice says, "Would you rather be a snake or a shark?" I think I'd rather snake. be a, a shark. No, it's a shark. No, snake. Snakes you get eaten by more things than sharks do. Yeah, that's true. Sharks but, get eaten by scarier things though. Yeah. Uh, Does being a snake mean that you are a symbol of sin and sexuality? That's why I would want to be a snake. Yeah. Sartora says... Fuck yourself. Sartora says the lone gunman is the one where people are switching bodies. Is that correct? No, oh, the lone gunman, yeah, that the right. lone gunman is the offshoot of... The X-Files. X-Files. I predicted 9-11. Bob Dylan's grandma says, A movie where the oh, head yeah. of an evil organization is going to destroy the world from the Twin Towers and the good guys got to take them out to save the world. Yep. That's a cool little twist on that. I'm still stuck on the... Uh, the towers crashing into the planet. Yeah. 
That's the money. Oh, we got 20 likes. Hell yeah. Alex just says, Sean Penn and Bill Clinton were stealing from Haiti. Google it. I'm not, I'm not, that's crazy. I believe it. Probably. Yeah, even some of these Trump snorts crushed up baby bones in Kanye West. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> I've died with him. He's a really nice guy. I saw it happen, yeah. Are you falling asleep, not me? Penn, be what? Are you falling asleep? Your eyes no, keep, no. Your eyes keep closing. He's stoned. Yeah. He's I'm just high. Yeah. I'm just high. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't feel my tongue. <laughs> oh my god! Have a book called Pen Up Rage. Pen Up, Pen up Rage. Anger. <laughs> Pen up. My life in the pen. The pen is mightier than the sword. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My favorite pen. <laughs> pen, <laughs> yeah. pen state of mind. <laughs> pen around the world and back. Pennis. <laughs> pen, pen 15 club. The most on pen story. Open Title for business. Ah. <laughs> Sartora says, I want to know which movie he said about the harvest. Duffy, about the harvest. Uh, it just happened, man. It was just in the theater like last year. <laughs> so they live or something. What was that shit? Oh, yeah. They, 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 yeah. They're all switching bodies with people. Oh, yeah. It was racist. Yeah. That's probably real. Yeah. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's some, there's some, uh, Way, 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 way trippier shit going on than I think anybody can even prepare themselves for. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It'll all make Some perfect scary sense. scary shit, man. <laughs> it will all make perfect sense in the end. Oh, my God. You're like full-on stoner right now. Yeah. Duffed out. Uh, love it. <laughs> Step back. Leo, uh, Carly G says, LOL, Google it. Bill Gates, y'all. Neil Venice says, Pen, Cillin. <laughs> Carly G says, Alien. Uh, Google real alien, click image, and scroll around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's a real motherfucking alien. I mean, I think I've met at least one. Yeah, I think, I think they're among us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen yeah. I've seen some, some alien looking motherfuckers <laughs> for sure. Like what? I might I might be one. I don't even know. Yeah, man. I trip on that. Well, that's the thing. We could all be we are, we are all one. Yeah. Part yeah. Of that. That's part of the whole They say my great grandfather was French Canadian, but I could see that being like code, you know? Yeah. Like, French Canadian. Nobody <laughs> no one's <did. laughs> Read between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> He's French Canadian. Oh man. Yeah, he's from Quebec because he's French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Altus Von Dia says body harvesting is real. Plant Parenthood has been harvesting for a while. Google it. Damn. Damn. Well, what do you do with it all? Oh, we, we made a sale. We made another sale. sale right now. <laughs> 866 from Brody Jones. That's my Brody. That's nice. my Brody. Hell yeah. Pre order the memories. Cool! Yeah. We got some people uh, getting down on the new memory sound. Yes, yes, I yes. I like that. Um, Carly D says, Enough, Alchus. BDD says, Yeah, I'm just a normal human boy with six nipples and green jizz. What planet? What planet? Human boy. I guess if you're a human boy, you, you can come from somewhere else. Yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy, yeah. like, as a human? Being born somewhere else and you come here, you're, you're no, happens, dude. I'm telling you, we're the minority. There's more people born off of this planet than there are people here. Mm -hmm. Like we're the, we're not we're like the castaway civilization. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Sartor says. Prison planet. Sartor says, Canalians are real. Alchus von Doom says, truth hurts. Human. Oh, Planned Parenthood is a bomb. I don't know about that. I'll look. I'll look that one up. Right, Canadian. Uh, Drangle says Canadians are so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's makes me hungry for Canadian bacon. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's not from Earth. Pizza. I'm down for either of those things. Canadian bacon. 
Alien bacon. No, nah. Damn. You know, and like, <clears throat> what if that's the deal with like some of this shit? Like, these cows and these pigs that like look kind of like the shit you see in the wild. Yeah. What are they They're all about? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, the, the dude, 6% of the world's beef supply has been tainted with clone meat. Yeah. <laughs> Six percent are are the children of clones. That's fine. Clone them, motherfucker. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's weird. They lost. They don't even know what's what. You're eating clones all the time. Yeah, just clones. Clone them all. It's good. I don't know. Clone them all. It might not be. We made it in the lab. Hey, leave me a clone. (laughs) Home a clone too. (laughs) Come on, ice cream. Home <laughs> two, lost Killer in Killer clone from outer story of 9-11, 2001. Send in the clones. We have to stop the Canadians. The French Canadians. They're like, <laughs> we. <laughs> we. <laughs> we have come from come the planet French <laughs> Canada. Oh, <come> <laughs> we are the first people in this world. You must go back in time and stop 9-11. Oh my a great God. idea. <laughs> You're on to it's going to be a good movie. Like, yeah. even if it was like a sci-fi movie, <laughs> yeah. sci-fi network movie. Somebody call the asylum. <laughs> it's like, you like we have, you have to go talk to like, uh, what's his name, William, William Coop, Bill Cooper. And he like he's like okay I have this I have the, the document I'm gonna brief you on this shit. <laughs> okay thanks Bill. Uh, no, I guess we just have to play every character. Carly G says I've seen that Planned Parenthood bullshit all over my Catholic grandparents' Facebook pages along with other Christian fake news. Oh my god. Sartori says why do aliens love cows? Why do people love cows? Yeah, um, cows are, are considered um, holy in some parts yeah. of the world. Dwangle yep. says canalian. Cows are in control. Dwangle says canalian pamale bacon with hickory and brown sugar maple. That sounds Damn. crazy. Damn. <laughs> so some of that alien <laughs> cheese, too. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have some cheese that's from another planet? <laughs> Carly G says clone home three. Uh, Sartara says because they're not from the Milky Way. Carly G says, wow, good one. And Sartara says, just made up my own Laffy Taffy joke. Baldwin's grandma says, oh, it has to be a sci-fi movie. Yeah, like the network, sci-fi. Yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking. Human says, yeah. I'll just, I'll just, Human says, I'll just, I'm mostly finding debunking articles on that Planned Parenthood thing, man. It seems to be some pro-life BS. It's all BS, man. BS yep. with me. Well, I was just be joking. Well, you know, the, the Air Force actually helped make Stargate SG-1. Interesting. They're like, hey, we got a good idea for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit we saw. It was just no, closure, it's not spinning man. right. It's a blue light. It's it's not a yellow sphere that comes out of the gate. Basically, um, on the other side of the gate, it's like Egyptians. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. And then technology. We came back after that, but. Yeah, that first Stargate movie was really good. I haven't seen I much that. of Stargate SG-1, but yeah. that movie Stargate was really good. Kurt Russell, man. Yeah, the show was awesome. The show yeah. was starring MacGyver instead oh, nice. of Kurt oh. Russell. Whoa, you're right. Yeah. yeah, it was great. I've never put that together. <laughs> yep, MacGyver instead of him. It was tight. They had a good cast. And wasn't, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, fucking fuck. The guy, <laughs> he's in so much shit. He's like a, a plays a cop in the CSI right now. Um, he's got a funny name. Damn it, I'll think of it later. He's some, the other guy is in S, SG1. Yeah, there's a bunch of people. It's yeah. good. <laughs> Don S. Davis. Oh, yeah. He played uh, the commander, General Hammer, Hammond. Don S. Davis. Yes. Hell yeah. yeah. I've never watched this one either, but I did like that movie. SG One was great. The 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 Greys were like the the uh, Nordic uh, like gods. They were like Thor and like ah yeah, <laughs> Loki and <laughs> yep. There's That's Greys. Uh, hell, That's fucking dope, man. That's yeah. dope. 
the fuck? Yeah. You know? I like this movie idea. I like where yeah. this movie is going. <laughs> Yo, they're making a new Stargate movie, man. Really, really off. Yeah, they're making three a of them, man. New Stargate, huh? New ones. What's it coming out? Bigger on? and better. Uh, Sci-Fi, man, they own it. Nice. They bought that shit. Yeah. People are stoked. They got an app now or some shit. Oh. Is it like the <laughs> same writing teams and stuff doing it? Or? Uh, it's like the same like creators or whatever. Okay. They need yeah, it's supposed to be like a, a prequel. Uh, Sartorius says. One is like a prequel. Uh. Sartorius says so the secret space program has human slaves. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. And all, the, all sorts of t probably types of slaves. Like, here, we, like, want to go on this, but, like, you know, if we ever did, we'd probably just be, like, in line, slave, eat your gruel. Yeah, and they'd be whipping you, maybe, or, like, zapping you. Yeah, with the, like, uh, the laser beating whip. you, and your life could just suck. And then you'd probably have to, like, take it from some crazy high-up, uh, like, officer on the ship. Huh? Yeah. That's I'd be all like, we're <laughs> not gonna take it. Mm -hmm. And I would not, not take it. So uh, like anymore. So <laughs> be it, infidel. We shall lock you in the eternal torture device. And it's like puts, puts, puts your puts your well, mind so like, simulates no. torture for a million years. <laughs> now will you fall in line? And it's all like it's like JFK's there and Muammar Gaddafi and like Saddam Hussein and and like like they're all Did there. you see the weird DARPA dog robot thing that can hold the door for the other robot? Uh yeah yeah I saw that. <laughs> you see the robots that were skiing at the Olympics? <laughs> no. Yeah, they got some. No. They're doing some. Some. It's not at the Olympics, but it's like. They got robots in the Olympics now. That can't be like right. It was just a display, but it wasn't actually at the Olympics. It's just in the same place for the Olympics. They were. Oh, they I thought were, like the robot was like competing. I was like really angry. Like that's not the fair. Was, some of them were like, pretty a robot good. Robot gonna play against I guess people. It's pretty easy for a robot. They just are like they're like that flag, that flag, that flag. Mm -hmm. Human says smoking a key full and high as fuck. Hell yeah. Jungle says strong belief in the key. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Star Trek says on the moon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Human says so. Do the celebs get replaced with clones or androids? With neither. With reptilian sheep. Yes. Uh, by the way, Sometimes three or four of them. Aliens just look like Twisted Sister. Like D. Snyder. Yeah. And all the rest of the gang. Yeah. The gang. They need to make. D. Snyder was an alien. Turok Dinosaur Hunter yes. movie. Yes. And then New Perfect Dark. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Perfect Dark movie. Is that a movie? Did they have a movie for that? No. Perfect Dark was fucking sick. Perfect Dark was really yeah, cool. dude, that should be a fucking movie. Yeah, that's that's what's really movie. going on. It's like the Secret Space Program. The game. Oh, somebody is making a Solar Warden game. Pull that up. There's a trailer for it. I'm dead serious. For Solar... On Solar Warden? Yeah, somebody's making a Solar Warden game. Sick. What's that? Solar Warden is like that's the, the name of the uh, Navy spacecraft fleet. carrier yeah. fleet. Where yeah, it holds like ten thousand people it's in there. Oh, in, in Perfect Dark? No, in real oh. life, bro. Oh, it's real, real life. life shit. Where uh, this part of the secret space program, where it's like huge carriers that have like can hold six motherships, which can each hold like forty-three scout ships, and so we yeah. have like huge fleets in space, and the code name on all the documents is Solar Warden. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fleet to fleet transfers over and 300 so yeah. and and so a lot of the Eight people. different ships. And that's where the yeah. slaves come in because they like just do all the menial shit on the fucking. Uh, and the robot dogs that open the doors door. for each other. <laughs> oh, dogs. God, that's freaky <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah. The Boston Labs. What was, uh, what was that, that Lockheed guy's name? That, that Boyd Bushman. Yeah, Boyd, Boyd Bushman. Bushman. He, he has seen documents on Solar Warden, so. That's what they think it is. Or that's what people think it is. See, Gary McKinnon program. saw them, too. That's what he saw when he... Yeah, did you hear me talking about that earlier? Yeah. Where he, like... Because mm -hmm. they were asking him, like, how come he couldn't save it to the hard drive? You were downloading it, but I didn't save But he was viewing it on a Java app. Like, it was oh, yeah. a Java app script. Or script that yeah, on a 56K it. modem. Yeah. He didn't even think to hit screenshot. Yeah. But he saw it. He apparently saw... The Solar Warden, which was built in the 70s, I believe. Who saw it? Uh, Boyd Bushman. Yeah, yeah, it was. And McKinnon. Designed McKinnon it. You can look him up, too. Oh, yeah. He William was Tompkins was... designed it. Yeah, Bushman designed it. Um, I don't know if he ever saw it, saw it. 
But um, McKinnon, the one who hacked NASA, is the one who's seen the pictures of it, but didn't get any uh, yep. actual evidence about it. And they were going to give him 70 years in prison for hacking NASA. Yeah. Because he was he was snooping around yep. trying to find documents on free energy. That was like his main his yeah. main thing, and then he stumbled upon this, which kind of you know is part of the free energy type of. Uh, Type of shit. Damn. Yeah, Solar Warden. Free. They're really making a Solar Warden movie? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no not a movie. It's a video game. Look, there's a trailer uh, for it. I'm trying to send it to you guys, but I can't. Let me do it in here. Uh, FaceTime. FaceTime. Oh, I see. Solar Warden reveal trailer. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't, yeah. Look like, it doesn't look like it got much fanfare. No. No, no. It's going to be tight, though. <laughs> it looks right. really good. Nice. Uh, human says, Sean White killed it today speaking of the Olympics. Sartoris, uh, is Trump human? No. No. Says yeah, Duffy. Sub, subhuman. <laughs> yeah. Human says, I don't know. I don't even think. I don't think Not, I'm even human. He's almost human, but no. Sartoris says, Baron Trump is a time traveler. BDG wants a robot dog. Uh, Just W says, unlock your true potential. Whoa. Joangle says, Kim Jong's sister is such an evil hot bitty. I bet her vaginal crease it's hotter than hell's cold. Vaginal? <laughs> Should I say? Vaginal. <laughs> vaginal. Vaginal. Yeah. Solar Warden, what is that, human? We just described it. It's a uh, secret fleet in space. It's the, it's the secret fleet. Yeah. Describe it, W. It's the code name for the secret space fleet. Program by the U.S. Navy and uh, Air Force Joint Effort Space Command. Not so secret anymore, motherfuckers. Narcape's network no. going down. <laughs> the Breaking this one off. <laughs> I believe that. Nah, I mean, like a lot of people are talking about this, but it's real. Yeah, yeah it's, man, it's I believe this kind of shit for sure. Well, yeah, the you know, and and the person who pretty much designed it came forward and said like they asked me to design. Like I drew that. Yeah. NASA took a picture of it. Yeah. Scary shit, man. They're and, like projecting shit into people's lives too. They can yeah. do that. Yeah. They can do all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah, Carl. I remember eye dogs. Those are fucking dumb as fuck. Those are eye dogs. Apple yeah, they're not made us, man. They were like those little fucking child, like little dogs that would like, uh, uh, and you yeah. put your iPods off oh, them and yeah. dance to the iPod or whatever. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, like what? And then, Dude, that sucks. If we were just made to mine gold, then we should go like do that. Yeah, but well, where the fuck is all the gold? It's crazy because it's like what? Like, I want to know where the gold. Went. When did gold become valuable? Like just because it's scarce, that's why yeah. it's such a valuable thing. Or, or well, that's it's a just because it's yeah. There you go. And so, because they've always wanted gold. Yeah. Gold has always been, like, the uh, symbol of wealth, you know? <laughs> I didn't even realize. I wear the shirt all the time, but yeah, it's the Olympics right now. Olympics! USA! Rapid! I'm so glad 17-year-old snowboarder who, uh... The who Olympics was, aren't uh, real. They're, like, CGI. TV, oh, yeah. And he was late, and he had to borrow some of his coat, <laughs> and he yeah. won first place. Yeah. Gold medal. And his dad, his, his family was all just shotgunning beers. Really? Sitting in Snapchat, so they were shotgunning beer, like, like Korean beers, so they were there. Sick. And uh, the, the dad was like, like we've been partying all day. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we've been, like, everybody's partying so hard. It's like yeah. what the dad said. Like, yeah. It's awesome. I was yeah. like, yeah, this is a, like, like, taste that. There's a real yeah. America for you. Yeah. Fucker. Fuck and yeah, I'm snowboarding. I'm, oh, man, I just, like, fucking did it. I did the track. I'm just going to party now. He did part of the kids did. Uh, he's got lots of way more battles, so yeah. he's keeping it clean while his family's uh, getting ripped. The boys staying clean. We're getting Can ripped. you be drunk when you compete in the Olympics? No. Probably not, huh? No. Because I bet some of those they're probably like are the better FBI. with a couple beer and z- beers in them, you know? Yeah. Have a couple beers, like, hit woo! the fucking half pipe, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm about to tear up some powder. <laughs> Olympic style. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bomb. Solar Warden, Duffy. Solar Warden. My boy. <laughs> it's crazy. Do you think they have factions at war within the 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 craft? Um Network of Crafts? Or do you think they run a pretty tight ship? I think they run a pretty tight ship. Yeah. Whoever's yeah, in the they won't let me in the club. Be part of they probably have a fair number of problems that they're that's a really good song if you don't know it. What, what song? 
No, no, I sent you guys in uh, in Google Hangouts. Nice. All right. <laughs> they're not slaves at all. They just say that as a smoke screen so that the people actually live like hella bomb ass lives and nobody gets jealous. Yeah. Well, they're just making that game, you know, so that like when we're all like Solar Warden, people are like, yo, that game sucked, man. Yeah. Yeah. You now it's like it's time. It's gotten too big. They have to. Has to become like Area 51 now, you know, like just yeah. like some bullshit. Totally, they have to make it into a game so people think it's fake. Yeah, dude, they do everything out in the open now. Well, those they really do. BDG says they should have a crackhead Olympics. Imagine the feats of athleticism you would see there. I want to know where to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you even said, if Michael Phelps hit the bongs, they still let him compete. So as long as it's not while you compete, beer gun hit lead shell. Oh, those guys with crackhead tour to France on a Hello Kitty tricycle. I'll tell you, says Sean White will have this gold medal stripped when the, when the committee finds yeah. out the controversial surgery that puts springs and knees for impact resistance. Put that in your Google Play. Oh, wow. Doing the research, doing the hard, cold research. Knee I springs. want to tour the breakaway civilization. Knee springs. He's like, yeah! <laughs> He's all hyped. God, I feel the springs ringing. Right up on my knees, man. I fucking hit that kicker. I got 50 feet of air with my goddamn super knees. <laughs> <laughs> and they dumped, yeah. dumped out my fucking snowboard, too, man. They yeah. the whole case of Mountain Dew, and I'm fucking crushing it. There's a strikeout yeah. Olympics. Yeah, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I'll do strikeout Olympics. Yeah, you Ye go. old strikeout joust. Uh, you old strikeout tourney. The tourney at the at the town square. How many each can he imbibe of these three? First, the dab of THC concentrated wax. Second, a shot of spirit tequila. And third, by way of spirit. gravitational force. God damn it, the Jesus in their beard. Spirit in it now. Um, I think we, Alatacor is the one. Yeah, let's do it. I want uh, Carnitos Nachos really bad. Sick. A fast cheese. Yeah. That sound dope, dude. Well, Perhaps I prithee the one may go to This Alatacor. was the second part of the spa uh, secret space program, and I feel like even though that could be, you could make a whole show just yeah, about that. People dedicate their whole lives. I feel like we did a pretty good job. I feel like we yeah. pretty much wrapped up the Secret Space Program topic. Yeah. I still want to do... Whoa, uh, 20 and back, bro. <laughs> I think next week we should still do the uh, the uh, mass vanishing. Yeah. Nice. Yes. That's a big part of that. Yeah. Yeah. They are, it's very interconnected. Yeah. I want to do mass vanishings. So it also, Where do you think these people go? Yeah. Exactly. Roanoke and all those other things. Missing, mm -hmm. missing military words. search parties. Solar... Warden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, One uh, word, NASA. And tomorrow... Everyone get in the spaceship. <laughs> tomorrow we are going to be doing our special Valentine's Day <laughs> episode. Uh, episode uh, Ye old Nartapes Night old Live. Ye old Nartapes, yeah. And with a uh, Valentine's Day theme as well. And we're going to have the memories perform live. Uh, and... Uh, it's gonna be totally free for you guys, and we're gonna try to pump the hype the tape. Hopefully, people, you guys will all buy the tapes. Uh, more people will come tomorrow and buy yeah. all, pre order all the tapes, and it'll be beautiful. Uh, I love tapes. We're, we're, we're gonna have the strikeout uh, Olympics tomorrow as well. So, it's gonna be about the old strikeout Olympics Valentine's Day special tomorrow night at 9 p.m. to midnight. And uh, that'll be the, the, uh, the end of the week's streaming. And then we'll pick up again on Sunday with a getting fast skinny Jesus with a uh, That's right. with a delicious chicken Hell salad yeah. sandwich. I think we're gonna do that, yeah. And oh. potato salad on the side. Yeah, we can do that. A lot of creamy stuff. <laughs> uh, so I even do a lot of fried stuff sometimes. Uh, and then next Monday we will have the new time, the new uh, the new seven to ten on Mondays, Narioki. On Monday and then Tuesday we'll we'll be doing also our weekly paranormal. And it will be the Mass Vanishings episode. And then Wednesday after that, we'll be having my birthday episode of Narcan's Night Live, as my birthday will be the following Saturday after that. Yay! Pretty Very cool. Good. A lot of good, uh, What's good up? content planned. <laughs> a lot of good content planned. But I think that, uh, you know, uh, we got 15 watching, 21 likes. Uh, Hell yeah! I don't see any reason to stop other than I'm really, really hungry. But, uh, it's pretty hungry. <laughs> I'm saying we, we, uh, we can stay on a little bit while longer. We still technically are slotted for another 26 minutes. Yeah. So, Ooh, yeah. Well, 
Oh man, I mean, there's so much, so much to cover. Yeah. The Secret space program goes on forever. It's been going. Twenty and back, that whole thing, man. Yeah. They say that you know you're me- you you spend twenty years in service and then they medically age reduce you back to like how old you were when they took you and they transport you backwards in time to like to ten the, minutes to the, later to the exact spot where you signed the papers. Yep, and you like you know it's like it never happened. No one they ever knows. Like, yeah. They have multiple, it's a weird dream. They have multiple people talking about that sort of thing too. Yep. I don't know if it's real, but. People talk about it. That Randy Kramer guy seems crazy to me. Like, he watched too much, like, Starship Troopers. He's like, yeah. I'm going to tell people that was my life. The 20 and back thing, I was kind of not... <clears throat> it, you're right, it was a bit... It's a bit much, Yeah. I feel like. Um, I feel like it's it's just disinformation. Yeah. It's meant to, to cloud the waters more. Yeah, exactly. A lot of the stuff... A lot of it is. But I also think a lot of the people that come forward also have false memories. Yeah, definitely. They're just supposed to look crazy. They're not supposed to look real, yeah. you know? But it's so vivid. It just sounds so crazy, and they believe it's true. You know, it's just not real. Orchestrated. Planted. So true. Is gonna have, he has the best Renaissance uh, Medieval Times voice, for sure. So Fuggle is going to be our main uh, <laughs> yeah. host of tomorrow. He also has a Jester outfit, which is going to be perfect yeah, yeah, for that. Perfect. Uh, yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear. We need medieval stuff too, for sure. Maybe I can make some kind of armor thing. Uh, uh, but it's gonna be great. I'm really excited for that. Uh, Hell yeah! You know, and I think that maybe we should just call it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call it. It's been a great yeah. show. I'm just excited for tomorrow. We just keep talking about tomorrow. And I think yeah. We got 14 <clears throat> watches, 21 likes, and we can leave on a high note before people start fizzling out. Let's leave while we're cooking hot. I want to thank our guest Duffy. Uh, Isaac and Duffy for hosting our shows as it has been and as it will be as long as uh, I, I can help it. And uh, I'm really excited about tomorrow's show. I'm really excited for all the uh, new music we're releasing and all the new music for you guys. Uh, and Jet W says, one does not simply watch Ye Old Nard Wednesday without doing a strikeout. That's, yeah, that's that is right. very true. So I'm excited yeah. for you guys to uh, see the uh, Ye Old Strikeout Olympics tomorrow on the Nard Tapes Ye Old Valentine's Day special. Uh, so thank you guys very much. Much love to all of you. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Pacific Central Time. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And uh, have a safe night. And don't talk about ghosts because they make Carly cry, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>